Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 93rd annual Cinefanatics Watch Along for the Oscars. God, can you believe it's been 93 years since we started doing the Watch Along? Wow. It's Nine, 93 years, and we're still going strong. 93 wow. years, and we have we four don't people even have, at the start of this. <laughs> don't even have 1,500 subscribers yet on our channel. Or are I we? Know. I don't know. 93 years. Good Lord. It's we're, been we're not doing the analytics does. right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all for thank y'all for joining us as we do this Oscar watch along. It seems like every year we get progressively like a little more high tech on how we do these, and this is such an improvement since how we did it last year. Um, so throughout this night, again, we're going to be watching the Oscars live. As you can see, what I pinned in the chat. Uh, if you don't have like just TV to be able to watch it, you can stream it on ABC.com through your cable provider. There's YouTube TV, Hulu with the live TV option, or any other way you can find of being able to watch it uh, along with us. Keep in mind that we're probably not going to be 100% completely in sync on this, so uh, we're not going to be Backstreet Boys either. Yeah, I know. I, I knew the I knew the in sync joke was coming with that. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> you're tearing up my heart chris <laughs> uh anyway so yeah everything's not going to be in sync so we'll try to explain i guess what we're seeing as we're watching so you know what we're saying uh also throughout this night uh we are expecting to be joined by special guests in fact we will start with one right off the bat as we begin uh please welcome uh, i believe she's been here before but welcome back to the cinefanatics channel Miss one, Rachel Silvestrini. Welcome, Rachel. Hey, guys. I am so excited for this. Thanks for having me on. We introduced you in a weird way. Yeah. Hey. yeah. It, was almost, uh, it was almost like 70s like, like uh, talk show host. It's great. I love and it. there she is. This <laughs> was like the dating game, <laughs> which, I mean, go figure. Um, <laughs> references. Um, Rachel, <laughs> you know, you know. Mm. Hello, you Malcolm. <laughs> um. So yeah, real quick before this actually gets started, because we got about fifteen minutes before the actual show starts. Uh, I kind of want to go through like at least the main, the main awards, and just go with like who do you think is going to uh, potentially take it in this? If you have an opinion. If you know, depending on like a lot of this, unfortunately, means you have to have watched like most all of these movies. So uh, whether <laughs> either think? taking a guess or what or out of the movies that you have seen out of the categories, what would you go with? That's what you think. <laughs> well, I mean, watch me. whatever. Watch me do it without watching most of these movies. So uh, we're just going to go through like the actors, directors, and of course, the best picture. Um, let's start with uh, best supporting actress. Uh, Chris, do you have an opinion? Um, so our choices are Maria Bakalova for Borat, Glenn Close for Hillbilly Elegy, Olivia Coleman for The Father, Amanda Seyfried for Mank, or Yaon yes. Yo Jung for Minari. Mm -hmm. I, I I always give it a shot. I always give it a shot. And, you know, if I mess it up, forgiveness. <laughs> but I always give it a shot. Um, I hear a lot of talk about Glenn Close. Uh, but also, like, that talk has been partly Razzie talk, too, so I have no idea. I mean, Olivia Coleman's always a good bet. Uh, did Maria Bakalova get it? Get the uh, Globe? I believe she I believe she got the Golden Globe Award, if I remember she, correctly. I think she did, too. Uh, I don't know. I'll go Glenn Close. Uh, she Has Glenn Close actually ever won? Is she one of those ones that's like we're waiting for her to finally win? Win her Oscar. One. Yeah. Um. I feel like she's one of those actresses that if she sh if she hasn't, she should have. You yeah. know, it might be it might be one of those if she wins, then it's a like a lifetime achievement win kind of a situation. Yeah. Uh, Rachel, do you have an opinion out of all those? I okay, so I've only like I love I loved Amanda Siegfried and Mank, but I don't know if it's Oscar worthy. Um. Olivia Coleman, like the father just rips your effing heart out. It is so emotional and so hard. It's also just a little close to home. So I understand mm -hmm. that that feeling of watching somebody go through something like that. It's just it's so depressing. Um I think I'm gonna give it to Olivia in this one. Uh that was uh, so 
since the last time we were on on our channel talking about Oscars, uh, I've caught up on a couple of more movies. Uh, I have watched. I think at that time I only watched Chicago Seven, No Man, No Mad Land, and Promising Young Woman. Uh, I have and Judas Black Messiah. I've watched The Father, uh, Sound of Metal, and Minari. So the only best picture I haven't watched is Mank. Um, oh, I will probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Citizen Kane, so watching Mank was going to be the one that I thought was going to be probably the most difficult. He has a movie um, channel, and he's not a fan of Citizen Kane. It's, you know what? It's, it's I, I don't like Citizen Kane either. I think it's I think it's something that old men got together and congratulated themselves a lot from <laughs> liking. Um, you you were thinking a different old, phrase, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, old, old white men. Uh, yeah. Old white men got together and they were like, oh, this is genius. We're so smart. Uh, yay us. Um, so I'm with you, but like I, I love Fincher, and I love. Mm-hmm. I, I I went into this very hesitantly because again, like you, I'm like I don't want I don't care about this movie. Like they made a movie about a movie that I don't like. Um, but then I watch it, and it's it is charming and stunning, and it's it fun. Like it's weird to say that about a Fincher movie. Yeah, <laughs> that it was like <laughs> kind of like a good heart, lighthearted fun. What are you um, talking about? Seven was a blast. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, where's Jess Slough? Uh <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's so sweet. It's such a family film. Um, but no, I loved Mank. I think that it was great. And again, like I said, I love Amanda Zigfrey in this. Like she's just funny and charming in just about everything she's in. But yeah, I think Olivia Coleman's got this one. Um, I like Olivia Coleman in there, but I will I will probably have to go mine. I'm going to go and I'm not gonna try to pronounce her name, but the grandmother from Minari. Uh, she was really good, especially if you've seen that movie, what her character goes through in that. Whew. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would have to say I'd give it to her. Uh, best Supporting Actor, we got Sasha Baron Cohen from Chicago 7, Daniel Kaluuya from Judas Black Messiah, Leslie Odom Jr. for One Night in Miami, uh, Paul, is it Racy? Racy, from, yeah. From Sound of Metal, and Lakeith Stanfield from Judas and the Black Messiah. Um, Rachel, do you have an opinion on that one? Uh, I feel like it's a, a massive sin that um, Chadwick Bos- uh, Boseman wasn't nominated for this um, for his yeah, role in Ma, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. He's, he's the best, best actor. actor. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, he is. That's right. Never mind then. This is all the fun <laughs> times. <laughs> this is what happens when you check your ballot, kids. Um. <laughs> Uh, and on that note, I think I think Lindsay uh, Leslie Odom Jr. Uh, has got this. Um, I think that he was absolutely stunning um, in this movie. It was so heartbreaking to watch. Um, it was not heartbreaking. It was just it was so emotional and such like a beautiful like moment in time, vit- like movie. Um, I don't know. I just I love him and I want I want to see him go for that that at uh, what's at the EGOT. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's a good point. Uh, yeah, I would love to see Leslie Odom have a egot. Chris, who do you think's got it? Uh, for this one, like first of all, like I've not, I haven't really heard too many people say Leslie Odom Jr. yet, so it's a uh, it's it's cool to hear uh, the perspective on that to see why he would why he should be in the in the race for it. But I think I'm strongly pulling on the Daniel Kaluuya on this one. I mean, first of all, he as Fred Hampton and Judas and the Black Messiah, he was like nearly unrecognizable. He just fell and disappeared into that role. Uh, so I think, I think, first of all, I think he got the globe for it. So there's, there's that, that's kind of big, big there, but uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's clear. hundred percent. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to echo that. I will go with Kalua on that as well. Uh, I'd like to give it to potentially Lakeith Stanfield as well. Uh, Paul Racy, I did like in Sound of Music. Uh, his character Sound was... Of music. Uh, he has Sound <laughs> of Metal. The hills are alive with the sound of rock and roll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, love it. Uh, I, I did like his character. I loved his character in that movie, but yeah, uh, the other ones I feel like... Sasha Baron Cohen did good, but I just thought it was like kind of like a step up from how he normally acts, anyways. So, yeah. I mean, I love the fact that Sasha Baron Cohen played this role in Trial of the Chicago Seven, but I honestly, I it, for me with Leslie, it's 
it's that last scene where he's singing on the Johnny Carson Carson show. And right before he says goodnight, he wipes that tear. Like, don't care. It was so beautiful. And it just, it, it hit right here. So I just, I love him for that. But everybody else, I mean, nobody's, nobody that's nominated is unworthy. Like their performances yeah. are all like complete and utter stellar. Oh, I just can't do So that. before we continue, uh, let's bring on another guest. Uh, would be, I believe, one of your uh, faction mates in the movie trivia Schmodown. Yay. Let's bring in Jessica. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, Rachel. How's it going? Hey, we, going we, were, we were talking about the lighthearted, uh, warm and fuzzy movies of uh, David Fincher earlier. <laughs> and I was like, where is my Jessica? Like seven, Fight Club. <laughs> yeah. Just the... Mormon fuzzies all over vertigo or well, what I said verti was vertigo. <laughs> vertigo. Gone no, Girl that... isn't the darkest one, and they we were all... having we were having a conversation about Fincher, and she's like, "Well, dark Gone Girl's not dark," and we're like, "What?" So we just like, <laughs> laughing our sense. And it's... You see what she does to NPH? Like <laughs> That's what I, said. I was like, she kills Barney. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um. So Jessica, uh, I don't know if you've like followed along with like what movies are nominated and stuff. We're just going through like the major ones real quick. Um, okay. So like we're on to uh, best actress. We got nominated as Viola Davis from Ma Rainey, Andre Day from United States versus Billy Holiday, uh, Vanessa Kirby from Pieces of a Woman, Frances McDormand from Nomad Land, and Carrie Mulligan from Promising Young Woman. Jessica, do you have an opinion on who you would pick? We might have to speed run through these last ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we um, need to. Probably Francis, but that's just me. From No Man Land. Okay. Yeah. Chris? Uh, yeah. I think it's either between Francis or Viola. Uh, Rachel? See, I want to say Carrie Mulligan completely stepped her game up, and she's literally in almost like what every scene of Promising Young Woman. Like she is that movie. Um, so I, I, I hope she gets it, but I think they're going to give it to Francis. I mean, deservedly yeah. too. That movie is amazing. She's fantastic. Uh, I will probably also go with Viola Davis because I did not know that was her for uh, like a hot minute when she first popped up on screen. I'm like, wow. And especially if you go back and you look at images or you like see anything of Ma Rainey, yeah, she's lost in that role. It was the yeah. role she was born to play, a hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, best actor. Uh, Riz Ahmed for Sound of Metal, Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey, Anthony Hopkins for The Father, Gary Oldman for Mank, and uh, Stephen Ewan for Minari. Chris, if you want to start, I think, I think you got to give it to Chadwick there. I mean, there's this this one's this one's tough. This one's tough because Riz is great. I know Stephen Ewan is. We're looking for one for him also, but I think I think they're going to give it posthumously to Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, I think that's that's probably going to happen as well. You, you go, Chadwick. I think they're going to give it to Chad. Uh, I I I hope they give it to Riz. I think he did such a fantastic oh, yeah. job, and also yeah. like just personally, like I like I know musicians and the fact that like they would go like the possibility that they could go through something like this, like it's it's so heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, I would almost want to say I want to see it go to Anthony Hopkins just because that's probably his best acting uh, ever since like being uh, Hannibal Lecter. I mean, there's a couple others in there that he's done very well at, but that was such a good performance. Sir but Odin, I, Odin is the best he's ever been. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, but I'll I'll probably have to agree. I would I would like to see it go to Chadwick. Uh, and not just because he passed away, but because he, like uh, Viola Davis, just got completely lost in that role. And he's just so well on that. That's the phrase we're going to be using a lot tonight, apparently. They got lost in the role. Yeah. <laughs> uh, best director, Thomas Vinterberg for Another Round. David Fincher for Mank. Uh, Lee Isaac Chung for Minari. Chloe Zhao for Nomad Land, And Emerald Fennel for Promising Young Woman. Um, I will go, I will say I'll start off with that and I haven't seen Mank. So that one, again, I can't fully say, but out of those, I would probably, I I'm torn between Minari and Nomadland. Um, I might give it for, give it to Chloe Zhao. 
just because that was uh, first taking something like uh, was it like RV Nomads or whatever and making that a movie that was it was really good to watch. Like mm-hmm. that's impressive, and I'm eager to see what else she's going to do, especially because her next movie is uh, in the MCU. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if I would give it to Chloe for a direction. Like I don't feel like I I felt her voice in this story. It felt more like like a guided documentary. So I feel like it deserves more along the lines of like editing and like cinematography in that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like I don't know. I feel I feel like David Pinter did such a great job with Mank. Um, but I also loved Promising Young Woman. So I, I would love to see Emerald Fennell uh take her first Oscar for Promising Young Woman. Yeah. I'm curious to see how many like Nomadland's gonna end up like walking with at the end of the night because yeah. there's so many nominations. Um it's oh, nominated I, for six. Mank Mank has the multi- the most with ten nominations. Yeah. I don't know. With like the diversity of the voters now happening too, I think that maybe Fincher doesn't have as much of a shot as he would have in the past. Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm thinking too. I'm thinking like the way we're looking at it this time, you know, in the past, Mink probably would have won like dang near everything it was up for. But I think now we're looking at a situation where, you know, any of these other ones are probably going to be the the one to take it at this point. I think, uh, and, you know, I would, I would also go with like Chloe Zhao, but I, I get it for like Emerald and Lee Isaac also. So, yeah. Um, and then uh, there is Best Picture The Father, Judas and the Black Messiah, Mank, Minari, Nomad Land, Promising a Woman, Sound of Metal, and Trial of the Chicago Seven. I think this is this is one of those like, what do you want to win? And then what do you think actually is going to win? Because mm-hmm. like I'll go right off the bat. I think what's going to win is probably going to be Trial of the Chicago Seven. Yeah. Uh, what I would like to win, <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I really did like Trial of the Chicago Seven, but I would probably say either Minari or Judas and the Black Messiah is probably what I would go with. I don't know. I feel like Trial of the Chicago Seven felt more like a made-for-TV miniseries that somehow got edited down beautifully and released as a movie. Um, mm-hmm. Mainly, maybe it's because I want to see all like the, like that story expanded upon. Look at Regina with, with those actors, Strength. with you know, with uh, with the director. I would love to see them all handle more of that. Like, just give me more. Um, personally, I would love to see Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, take it. I think it's going to be Nomadland, though. That's what I think too. But I've only seen half of the nominations, so I can't. <laughs> like speak too much on it, but, but uh, I would love I to see promising, something. Oh, go promising ahead. young woman, I think, might be too of too much of like a controversial pick to where the votes aren't gonna end up that way. But who knows? I mean, but there are so many mo- so many great movies that could split the vote that it it actually does have a chance of winning. Mm-hmm. So we'll see we'll see how how that all plays out. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Chris? Again, in the past, I I don't know. I don't know this year. In the past, I would say that Trial of Chicago Seven would probably take it, but I don't know if they're if it's actually going to this time. I, I lean more towards Nomadland probably getting it. Mm-hmm. Um, again, in the past, also I would have said Mink too, but uh, you know, I would love to see something like a Minari or Sound of Metal get it for sure, but or Judas and the Black Messiah. Really- I also find it really interesting that between this year and last year, every movie that a woman has like that has the woman who's been nominated for best actress has been in was in a movie about a woman. It's never like, like a gender neutral, like split story. Like it's always Mm -hmm. about the woman. And so it's going to be really interesting to see going forward because we have seen so much diversity happen in movies and the nominations and everything that gets acknowledged by the academy it'd be really interesting to see if moving forward if um if that changes anytime soon because with this year we had what ma rainey billy holiday pieces of a woman nomad land and promising young woman and last year it was judy harriet marriage story little woman little woman and um bombshell mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So like, I guess you can make a story for marriage story, but like, still, it was like female fronted, female directed, like very much had a female voice to it. So it'll be really interesting to see going forward if if that'll change. Yeah. So this is starting um, again. Uh, depending on how you're watching it, you might see the timing might be a little off. Uh, right now, I see mm -hmm. Regina King just got on stage. Me too. And she's she's putting the trophy down. And she's walking up for me. And she's yeah, tripping she's up for me. And girl, she's that speaking trust. right now for me. Oh, she yeah. is. Yeah, she her full walk in. It's like oh. now she's walking up to the stage. Where are they? Oh my god, oh, I'm ahead of you guys. Station? Yeah, I think Jessica's ahead because you were talking about her strutting herself like <laughs> way before it started showing this. So Jessica is going to be announcing oh, the awards. There's the, the trip. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's the trip. Yep. Got it. Yep. <laughs> so so Jessica has, has a main line to the, Yeah. She's all gonna be like, oh, we're gonna be like, what? The, what? <laughs> Who won? Wait, is is Paul Racy actually deaf? No, his no. parents were deaf. Oh, okay. So, so like, he, he's, he's just used to speaking. Yeah, he's language. had a lot of roles like in TV and stuff like that where he comes in like as the interpreter. Um gotcha. so it's really yeah. interesting to see that. She just talked about masks, so whenever you yeah. dress though. That wow. dress is that dress is kind of awesome. It looks like a butterfly. I know mm -hmm. she's so pretty. She's living like every 90s girl dream. Yeah, and it's gonna put butterflies in her hair and she's like, I'm gonna be a butterfly. I'm watching it on TV. I so I don't know if that like no. I'm cable watching right now. He, he doesn't have it pulled up at all. He's just hanging out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's going to be cracking those jokes all night. That That is like for it being a small, uh, I guess, performance, a small gathering. Venue. Yeah, that's really tiny. It is interesting. I, it's like during the day, too, I think. Yeah, like it looks like it's during the day. It looks like it's normally night, but it's during the day. Like normally yeah. it is live, and it's at this time of day for the for LA. But like, they're in it's usually you know, in a theater. For that theater. Where are they at? I think they're in Union Station. Union Station. Where is that? At? That's in LA too, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's every you know. Anytime you've seen in a movie a train station, like at the end of uh, Can't Hardly Wait. Yeah. That's the station. That's like okay. it's right in downtown LA. So that explains why, like where they where they're sitting at, looks like it's actually a hallway instead of an actual room. Yeah. They 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 put it in there so it's like wide open. Their circulation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Fuck yeah, bro. Okay. Okay. The films we are here to honor tonight. That hair is pretty cool. <laughs> For Shaka King. <laughs> I wonder. He said something about John Leguizamo. Yeah, boy. My boss. Yeah, I know that guy. I've met him. <laughs> I like that he's rocking the, uh, it's almost like an Afro Mohawk. Yeah. I feel like I'm behind. So they're yeah, showing. I just heard, I just heard John Leguizamo too. Uh, they're talking about Aaron Sorkin right now for me. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm seeing uh, uh, Lee Isaac Chung. Now they're showing okay, uh, Emer Emerald it. Fennel. Yeah, they're just showing yeah. going over original. They just and they just said the winner, so I know who won. <laughs> the winner of what? Original screenplay. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what this is? Who I thought they were just movie talking movie? about some of the nominees. Oh. Wait, no, so screenplays. So the original screenplays are Judas and the Black Messiah, Minari, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, The Trial of the I was right. Of 
Way she was. Oh, so far ahead of us. So how Jessica's ahead of us? Yeah. She's watching on TV and we're watching a stream over the internet. So we're going to be slightly delayed over I'm the internet. Like way behind. They're just introducing the Sound of Metal guys. Yeah. Is that where you guys are? Uh, that's where I'm at. Now I'm seeing uh, Aaron Sorkin with the Trial of the Chicago 7. Wait. I'm just gonna I haven't seen Aaron Sorkin yet. Well, we're all over the place. Oh, yeah. We're all over the place. <laughs> There's Aaron Sorkin. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Now we got the winner. I'm listening to the speech right now. <laughs> this was original screenplay? Original screenplay. Jess, you don't have to have a pause function, do you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You don't have a DVR? Yeah! Hey. Guys. <laughs> All right. I think now I some winner. time behind I get to announce. <laughs> yeah, if you're the one behind, we're all just going to be like, oh, okay, and then you're like, yes! Sweet. Emerald Metal 1, best original uh, screen. I think me and Rachel are like, at the same time. Oh, okay. High five. Delay. Oh, oh, she's so pretty. I love Carrie Mulligan. I didn't realize, is it bad? I didn't realize she was... Um, English. So I'm like, oh, her accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she looks like a pregnant fairy. Oh my gosh, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda Seafried, Seafried. Seafried. Yeah. Looks very good. They just showed a glimpse of her, and I was like, oh. I feel like she's one of those girls that like she just wakes up with like she, like she is just like Rapunzel, you know, like she's just like a Disney princess in she like brought to life. <laughs> So yeah. she wakes up and like birds help her like detangle her hair. Yeah. You know, they lay out her clothes while she's showering. <laughs> they're rolling through this quick too. Like they're announcing nominees for the next thing now. They probably have a train coming in three hours that they gotta get out of there for. <laughs> <laughs> Although, could you imagine like the train schedule that they had to de like divert for this? Can someone tell me what the White Tiger is? Because I have never heard of it. Oh, today. um, I think that's the movie. I, I'm pretty sure that's the movie that uh, has Stephen Yen in it. Um, hold on, let me do a little research. Uh, if it is what I think it is, no, it's not the one with Stephen Yen. That's that's Minari. Minari. Well, no, there was another. I don't movie. know if he's also in. Yeah. There's another movie that he's in that has the word tiger in it that I cannot recall at this moment, but uh, it's really good. This one, oh, this adapted. one looks like it. Yeah, this one looks like it's a uh, primary, like, uh, was an Indian cast. Yeah. Um, Priyanka. Yeah, Priyanka Chopra's in it. She's so beautiful. Oh, the father's about Alzheimer's. No. Yeah, it's about it's about dementia. It's, it's, a, it's a, about the dementia, not Alzheimer's. It's a hard watch. Yeah, is that Questlove? Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, someone's in us. Oh, Borat. Movie film. She said Borat. <laughs> Borat, yeah. That's <laughs> weird to hear. Borat's nominated for an award. How? I also am very curious just to find out why it's nominated for adapted screenplay. Because it's based off of a, it's primarily based off a character that Sasha Baron Cohen's already come up with. So because Borat was a character that started like on the Ali G show and then his, his move, own movie. The whole storyline of Borat was already created. So, what are you guys are thinking for adapted screenplay? Because we got Borat, The Father, Nomadland, One Night. I was incorrect on this. <laughs> <laughs> Jess already knows. <laughs> for adapted, I would I, honestly, I would probably go either The Father or One Night in Miami because they're both based on plays that have done very well. Yeah, I'm gonna go One Night in Miami. Um, I just really, really like those like. Like pocket of a day, like like just just a glimpse into into a day in the life type movies. I really really enjoy them. 
One of you is correct. Oh, well, I hear a dude speaking in the background. <laughs> With a heavy accent? <laughs> I, I hear it, but I can't tell whose it is. So many names that I have to mention. Federica, Chris, Andrew. Hey, Christopher uh, Hampton. Is that Christopher? And thank you for being so supportive. And, and the crew of the father, of course, and the wonderful cast, Olivia Williams, Olivia Coleman, Rufus Seal, okay. Mark Gattis, Imogen Boots, and Oh, course, is it the, for, the father? So they're, they're somewhere else. I'm like trying to figure out. Um, Did like the father? <laughs> so yeah, some of some of these people are spread out to other theaters that are having their. Wait, so who won? Uh, the father. Yeah. Interesting. So he's hmm. at like some sort of theater, because they showed Olivia Coleman, and she's not like like she looks like she's sitting in like movie theater seat type of thing, not movie mm-hmm. theater, but like theater. Yeah. I know some of this is supposedly still being filmed at the uh, Dolby Theater. Yeah, they just so. can't have too many people there. I don't know. Is that Rachel? Do you happen to know? Is that is that something they're doing for security, or is that still like a regulation in California? It's still a regulation, as far as I'm aware, about like having enough people like per square foot. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but it's probably just also the fact that it's easier, and they don't have to like close down Hollywood Boulevard. They don't have to provide security for like. 10 square blocks, you know, like, like they usually do. Yeah. Yeah. So it's probably, it's, they're probably spending about the same amount of money for both locations or for however many locations, but like, this seems like it's nicer and like easier. I'm on commercial break now. (laughs) We're about to be. Is this where we catch up? No. (laughs) Only if Jessica can pause the commercials. (laughs) I pro- let me Wait, so you guys don't get commercials though? Like it is. It's yeah. gonna go to commercials for us. Okay. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. am I gonna be behind? <laughs> ha, see you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Eric. <laughs> Jess, what word do you have from the future? What's the way auto numbers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the sports almanac. Yeah. <laughs> Gray sports almanac, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's also eight fifteen PM, so there's that where where are you at aspect of the future as well. <laughs> I'm yeah. on the East Coast. I'm in Florida. Okay. We're uh between the four of us, we're spanning the entire country right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Rachel on the West Coast. Well, I mean, if we get Paul in here, then we're really like That's true. Oh going Oyama? Coast, 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 coast. No. If we which I was saying Paul? PLD, but oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there's yeah, like yeah. there's like four or five Pauls that uh, run within our community that we talk about on a first name basis. So, <laughs> there are so <laughs> many that like aren't repeated in this league that also like, to talk about people. Um, yeah. All I saw was a great ad for weed, and I'm like, "Are you in California?" <laughs> no, no. He's he's not able to watch it. So again. <laughs> He's He'd definitely be- in a he's definitely in a state where uh I don't know. I don't think it's legal there. Uh Tennessee, I don't think so. It is I don't think it is either. Uh so since we're on a commercial break and Jessica's probably about to come off of this com- commercial break here in a minute. Uh <laughs> since we do have her on, uh I did want to say uh congrats on your Schmodown match. Oh, thank you. That was fantastic. Very well played. <laughs> the most casual of hair flip. <laughs> Oh no, I, that's just my like nervous take. I mess with my hair all the time. So, yeah, and people thought I was cheating. I was like, no, I just like my eyes like dart around because I'm nervous, you know. Like this is something I do. They're like, she she looks to the right every time she says an answer. And I'm like, if I was cheating, I would have done better, right? Like <laughs> I'm like, I think you that close. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. Two right answers in the second round really means I was in a world where people are getting like perfect matches. Yeah, if I were cheating, I would have a perfect match. Yeah. Well, don't tell anyone, but my second round, I got all four questions about Kevin Smith completely correct right off the bat. 
So. Oh, I was about to say, if you say wrong, I'm out of here. <laughs> We can no longer <laughs> Rachel's like, no, I'm not standing for this. This is the wrong oh. channel. What? What? It's Amber. I know her. Hello, sweet girl. My sweet, sweet baby. Oh, uh, someone talked about that, but I missed it. Talked about what? Because I'm ahead, probably. So I probably, it probably happened. Okay. That Amber was having a commercial. I have Amber's no idea who we're talking about. Amber Snowbreaker, I do. Uh, I've played like Among Us with her on her Twitch streams. Oh, okay. Oh, not not okay. Yeah. Wait, is she in the chat? No, uh, it's on a commercial. The, on the she's a she. She's an actress, so she's in the commercial. I knew she was going to be in one of these commercials. So. Okay, so we're coming back for me. <laughs> wow. I just ended the experience. Union Station. Yep. Wow. On the on the she was like front and center in that entire commercial. Good for her. That's exciting. Was that the the one with Rashida okay. Jones or Yeah. The other literally the get, other woman in that commercial. I want to get Rachel's opinion on Laura Dern's dress when she shows back <laughs> up because um, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm very excited too. Currently, and I just ended the uh, Disney Plus stream yeah, thing same. ad. Yeah, me and Rachel are like exactly the same. Je Jessica's now the hype person for this stream. Like, guess what? Laura Dern in a dress. You're going to need to see coming up next. <laughs> and she's announcing international feature film. I have no opinion on that because I have no idea. Oh, no. Isn't um uh, one more round or something Another, like that? Yeah. Yeah, I watched five round. minutes of it. Realized it wasn't in English. I was like, I I don't have the mental capacity for this today. <laughs> so that's what I guess because I've seen most of it. <laughs> that's fair. I think they're gonna get. I think if they're gonna give it to them because it, I'm pretty sure that Vinterberg is not gonna win for director, and they want to give it something. So I figured like that's gonna be the one that yeah that for is for international. Dang, they're gonna, good lord. They're gonna <laughs> blast through this show in like two hours, right. aren't they? I, I I see the dress now. How are you ahead of me? We're in the same apartment. <laughs> you want to come over here? No. Good. I want to get up. Don't invite place, me. You just got a new chair. Yeah. The only. Why place would you, you do that? Yeah. The only place you can sit on is my bed, and I don't want you breaking that either. If I would come into your room, I'm tackling you again, and we're breaking your chair again. No. No blood, no blood during the Oscars. Oh my god, that skirt. Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Fluffy. Okay, it looks it looks really regal from like the waist down and from the waist up. She's like, I'm cold. I'm just gonna put on a, a turtleneck. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's funny Black is the, depending on what the background is, you see the white fluffy cloud thing, and then it looks like her head is like floating because the black kind of blends in with like the blue background. And it looks like she killed an albino big bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I like it. But I'm very upset now, <laughs> Laura. Yeah, she's wearing um, the stuff that comes in my pillows. Jessica, do you have uh, do you have like service through like you have cable TV or are you just watching like antenna or? Um. Yeah, I have uh cable. It like came with my like it was like a part of my rent. I didn't really have a choice to say no. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, bulk bulk apartment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I have you, Spectrum cable. Do you know like your login? Like, do you, are you able to log into like your account? I guess if you go, let's say Spectrum.com and log in to your account, do you have that set up? Like to watch it on the internet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. He just wants that you way. To be, he just wants it, you to be lagged with us. Bring <laughs> it back to the X. Pull me down. Be aligned with us. <laughs> I don't. I honestly, I don't know any of these movies, but I want to watch the one with Mads Mikkelsen in it because Mads Mikkelsen is entertaining. And it just showed oh, him yeah. dancing with the drink, and I'm all about yeah. it. Yeah, and I want to party like that. I legit, like, when the world opens back up, I may just wear, like, all of my fancy dresses, like, everywhere from now on, just because, yeah. like, you haven't gotten to do that in a year and a half. Hey, we got seven people watching. Guys, if you haven't sounded off in the chat yet, go ahead. Let's know you're here. Well, I'll say hi. Again, questions, comments, anything, streamlabs.com slash cinefanatics or the YouTube. 
I forgot we didn't say that at all. Say anything about yeah. the Streamlabs at all. <laughs> well, we're so good at Streamlabs, guys. We are. We so we we started at a at a later time, and apparently the Oscars aren't waiting for us to catch up and be ready. They're just going to start playing. So go figure. Right. Someone forgot to tell the Oscars that we were going to live stream watch along this thing. So. Sorry, that was my bad. I should have mentioned it to him. I was busy today. That looks like uh, what's her face, Amy Sedaris. Oh yeah. I don't know what movie that was. I don't even know where you're at anymore. Uh, they, I think they just introduced the last uh, international film. Yeah, I just I just saw the like I'm seeing the winner of it. We're almost there. I'm gonna need you to pause your stream. <laughs> can you actually pause these? Yeah. No. We, so. Wait, can we? Oh, I guess not. I don't think I don't even think oh, we can pause these. I was right. They gave it to another round. Go figure. Um. Yeah, I don't think I can pause this. Nope. Well, that's All right. Fine. Well, we know where the bar is at for this year, and we know what we need to do for next year. <laughs> Again, every year we're going to improve how, our quality of how we do this. But to be fair, also every year it changes so yeah. much. At this point, yeah. Like, remember two years ago when you used to be able to like show it. So did they showed all of the musical performances beforehand? Because I saw one of them. Yeah. They did, yeah, they did the musical performances during the the pre-show. Which is smart. Oh, yeah, it's going to save a ton of time on the actual yeah. show. Yeah. That's, that's, you're looking at like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. I was going to say, they're going to blast through this thing in like two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, I like the only one I kind of want to go back and watch it because I didn't realize exactly what it is. Uh, the one, what's that song? Fight for You from Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, was done by I guess her name is her. That was but, a yeah, weird, her. weird sentence. Her, her. Yeah. But it looked like she's her. she's a drummer and singing her song at the same time. Yeah. That's talent. Yeah. She can play guitar too. I've seen her do that before. Okay, I'll, I'll, I want to go back and see that later. Anybody who can drum is just like like a step beyond human in my idea just of what humanity can do. Like yeah. that's you're keeping time you're keeping different time yeah. with different parts of your body. Like that's insane. I um, play piano yeah. and I barely can do that where like your left hand and your right hand, like have to have like different tempos. Yeah. I struggle with that. So drumming <laughs> is on like a whole nother level. Yeah. I'm like, I, I can, wanted. I can plunk out heart and soul between my two hands, but like, that's about it. <laughs> I wanted to I'm learn. Curious drums, but they're going to do. It's hard to do. The, the music um because the speech is starting to get long so yeah. <laughs> dang it vernon wait is he still speaking for you mm -hmm. oh my god Ooh. where's the somebody has somebody has to have that app on their phone that has like the orchestra send off music <laughs> the playoff music like please <laughs> tell me somebody had like all actors should definitely have that we save so much time elsewhere. Yeah, we'll let them have 30 minute speeches. It's fine. Ugh. Uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a really good promo, so feel free to take your time. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm eager to see that. Yeah. Oh, are they doing best actor now? Hello, sir. Best actor? Typically, yeah. Typically, at the very supporting. beginning, they usually do like the best supporting, supporting. actor and actress. Stanfield, Judas and the Black yeah, supporting. Yeah, they're okay. supporting. I, oh, I, I heard it. <laughs> usually, heard those it. are the oh, ones like right off the bat. Down. No, you're. No, we can. We can. <laughs> this guy needs to shut up. I'm sorry, but like, I know this is a massive lifetime achievement and everything, but like, release a video on Twitter. It's funny the like. <laughs> Not in this case, but the like documentary short winners or like those ones, like they spend like the longest time because it's like 
such a big thing. I, I get it, but like now, like before when there weren't other outlets to like release a statement on, mm -hmm. I get why you wanted to take as much time and thank well, as many this, people as possible. I feel why, like why does this guy I'm look like somebody to like I'm waiting for somebody to be like follow me on Twitter. It's da 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 da. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Bye. That like, guy, this guy looks like Hugh Grant's younger brother who's trying to step into his brother's shoes. He looks like he looks like if Hugh Grant and Sean Bean had a baby. Hugh Bean. Hugh Bean. It's you when being. y'all get to it and they're not I felt uncomfortable Laura was like speaking to Daniel Kaluuya and they're like both in the shot but she was like speaking across like the room it feels weird that they're like in the crowd with them but I don't know yeah that's kind of interesting I'm like oh <laughs> so this is this is best supporting actor now yeah yes. and she's like she's thanking them Ooh. Ooh. That's good, baby. Mr. Stanfield. All right. What else is Paul Racy been in? Um, he's he's been Sound in a metal. lot, but it's never <laughs> yeah. like anything big. Thank you. Like, he's he's like he's always like that guy yeah, in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. It's, <laughs> it's it's kind of weird, like how she's like talking to Daniel Kalua. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Like get closer, or or don't be like. I mean, I if mean, he's that close, just go sit in his lap. It's way more than six <laughs> feet apart. You can get a little bit closer. Yeah. It's Laura Dern. She can get away with it. It's fine. This camera angle is bad too, because it looks like she's definitely talking down to him. Yeah. <laughs> Lola we don't have Lo jokes. Yeah, Lola like popped up real quick and then took off. Uh, she's like curled up in a ball like over here off off frame. Yeah, she finally yeah. found a spot to lay off frame. Is, I'm sorry, is Leslie Odom Jr. wearing a gold suit? Yes. He's so extra. I love he, him. He 100% can do that. He look. <laughs> It's one of those like you can dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Did he literally dress as an Oscar statue? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing: I feel like I can pull off most things. I don't know if I can pull that off. I can't do gold. I, I can't I can pull. Do gold. Off. I'm here I'm... for the men like making more, like turning a look, you know, like trying new things, not just putting on a suit and calling it a day, like. Yeah. Do I mean, don't get me don't get me wrong. The suits look good on them. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm here. I'm here for uh oh god, who wore a ball gown last year? And Billy Porter? Slayed it. Who? <laughs> Billy Porter? Yeah, Same Billy Porter. Oh. He's so fantastic. Also, Paul uh was it Paul Racy? Um yeah has a metal band that does like sign language to uh i think it was metallica that's cool um in la and i'm just like yes please i love and how the Isla oscar fisher. goes to i love that isla fisher's just like standing by her man like in front yeah. of like this awful green screen all right are they in front of a green screen? Because their hair's blowing in the wind. Yeah, that's why I was trying to figure out if they were in front of a green screen. Uh, that's okay. That's good. We're not. <laughs> I'm. I am happy. I'm listening to the speech. So. Yeah. I hate being so far behind. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to Daniel. Yes. Yes. Hey, brother. He's fantastic. He's so good in everything. Uh, yeah, this is the one I wanted, for sure. Hey, look, we can actually hear him giving an, an acceptance speech. <laughs> no one's doing him dirty this this time. <laughs> it's a Golden Globe speech. <laughs> Y'all are doing me dirty. <laughs> He's delivering it like so cool. He's just like, I like this guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I like that doing it this way, that their families get to come and like, it's not just like a one date thing. Like now they have a table for mm -hmm. like their family. Hey, Chris hey. Doman. Haven't, haven't seen you in a while. What's up? Chris, holy shit. <laughs> Lakeith Stanfield looks awesome. Like the blondish hair. Yeah, it's like not quite like Justin Timberlake 1997. Um, <laughs> it's like a way cooler version of that. I just loved like the giant lapels on his on his shirt. <laughs> what? Sorry. Just got the three actions from the future. <laughs> Here's what so we're all, here's the face we're all going to be making here in about two minutes. <laughs> well, he's talking about celebrate life, and then he's like, "My mom and dad had sex." <laughs> <I'm> like, what? Okay, I love him, but there are there there are some very clear examples when actors definitely need a script. Oh, oh I'm, the West Side Story trailer is <laughs> There we go. <laughs> my mom and my dad. <laughs> Y'all reached the, uh, I'm doing it on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm so glad they got his mom. <laughs> his like, my mom and my dad had sex. Like, it's incredible. It's incredible. Get ready for the West Side Story trailer. That's what I'm oh, oh really? Oh, God. I'm going to start just crying. I'm just going to mute myself because I want to crank this. Wait, really? Uh, I'm eager to see this. John Cheadle doing a Christopher Walken impression? Okay. Yeah. Here you go. There's a tra trailer reaction within a Oscars watch along. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we don't have to do an actual trailer reaction for this. Except we're off timing, so. Yeah. When is this supposed to come out? Christmas. Huh. I miss... I'm just going to grab my remote and see if I can pause or something. Probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> That's cool. All right. I forgot he was in this. Interesting. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no way of doing that. That looks good. That looks really good. All right. Okay. Yeah, that that I'm looks game. fantastic. I can't wait to see all of my babies on screen again. I'm game. Legitimately, between West Side Story and In the Heights, like I can't wait for In the Heights. So many friends that are in both of them, and like they were shooting like mere blocks away uh, from each other uh, in New York, and so I would get these like photos from set from both of them like from both sets like sporadically during the day and then like one day i got one where like all of the cast from uh all of my cast members from uh american in paris that were in both movies met up in costume because they were like literally around the corner from each other and it was just all of them in their co in their great costumes and i was like oh i just want to watch cool. this with you <sighs> This is the way this commercial. Disney's won best original songs and all the Australian, all these wonderful Disney songs. And then next Sunday, American Idol. Okay. <laughs> next but Sunday, it, here all of these. We're gonna kill them. The crud out of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, guys, we got a couple Streamlabs from PC. She said, "Nice to see some Den members. Let's go, Den." Thank you, baby. Woo. And also, Oscars are late this year, but I'll always think of the Oscars as when I first found this channel. Cheers, guys. Thank you, PC. Aww. PC was with us uh, on the watch along last year. Yeah. Yep. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so last year, we set up a TV in, a li in our living room, like typically where you see like the shelves behind us with all the toys and stuff on it now. Uh, so I had to, I pushed my TV out there, a cable box and we watched it, but we didn't have like the headphones set up. So while the Oscars were on, we had to mute the stream and then we would only talk about it like during the commercial breaks. Oh no. Mm. So the entire time you're watching me and my brother, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then when they would announce the awards, you'd see us. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, so uh, they won as we were expecting. Like, Okay, so like, there's been four that have been announced, right? Yeah, so we did supporting. I've gotten three out of the four. We should be, we should be on to supporting actress next. Yeah. They're, act they're doing uh, makeup and hairstyling, actually, right now. Okay. Well, Don <laughs> Cheadle. Do I have an opinion for that one? <laughs> Makeup and I... hairstyle. They did. It's Emma Hillbilly Elegy, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Mank, and Pinocchio. Which I didn't. I think really Ma Rainey this was released. Yeah, I didn't know about that either. Just I'd because of go... Viola, like that was yeah. insane. I'd want to go Ma Rainey on that one. Yeah, I think I think they're gonna go Ma Rainey. Oh, Don Cheadle's all like salt and pepper, like. So they announced it. I don't know whether to be like, <laughs> like to react or not react, you know? <laughs> don't want to ruin spoil. Dang, Cheetle. All right. That silver and that goatee. I know. I don't know how I feel. The music that happens, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that's per movie or if that's just like what the show decided on. What the music that plays between like the awards? Yeah, like when they're walking up and stuff. I don't know. I mean, usually it's like from their last big movie. Yeah. Like or all the stars yeah, some, played something for that Daniel, they're familiar. Yeah. All the stars played for Daniel Kaluuya from Black Panther. Mm -hmm. That's a great song too, by the way. It's a really good song. Matthew Mungle. I mean, I feel as much. I don't feel as like I, I should loved, be saying that last name. Yeah, as much as I loved Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, like I feel like it was kind of an easy way to go for her hair and makeup. Like I think, I think costume they got it more. It was more difficult. 
Oh, okay. I was like, are they announcing another is, the movie or is this the winner? This is the winner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whose version of Pinocchio got released? Like, didn't it's it another it's Bert another Bert? uh Bernard, Bernardo Benini or whatever. Oh, okay. He did he did another version that was much better sure. than the last one. <laughs> another one? Yeah. Roberto Benini. Roberto Ra Benini. I can't hear what they say. I just see people react and stand up. And I'm like, okay, I wasn't paying that close of attention when you were like highlighting the people. Viola is okay. Viola never looks bad. It's so her hair hard. is like in blue. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Ma already got it. I'm on a streak right now. I've only got one wrong. Nice. But do you guys like track that or are you just like, oh, I think it might be this person, but yeah, I don't really care. I can't remember if we did like picks because I know like we did stuff, something on the tagline when they first released the nominees, but I can't remember if we did actual like picks for everything other than like the major ones. Yeah, I think we had some guesses, but. I mean, I, I, I literally have like Jess knows my spreadsheets and my insanity that exists within them. So I've, I've created a you have a spreadsheet. Oscar, yeah, I have an Oscar spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like an overall Oscar spreadsheet that I'm building on. But like right now, I'm just kind of like, okay, well now I can guess and like mark down my guesses and see how well I do. I guess. Last year, I got. Um, I'd literally just like screenshotted something and then like Instagram like marked up things, you know. But, oh yeah. Um, I got 14 right last year, so I'm trying to up my streak. Do y'all know? For no reason. Who's, Rachel, the one in that, know who's the one in the red dress back there that was behind Viola Davis? I don't know. Rachel, I think it's Amanda. Amanda uh, Seafried, yeah. Seafried. That is. Oh, that dress. <gasps> it takes Huge. up like ha half the auditorium in there. <laughs> my grandmother used to like make like one of like a cake that looked like that. It was just like a, a an upside down dome cake, and she'd put like a Barbie doll in the middle of it, and then like make it make the cake her dress. I'm not Oscar. joking. She looks like one of my grandmother's cakes. My streak has been um, broken <laughs> oh, for the costume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Rachel, do you know if uh, PJ puts? this year's Oscars into the questions immediately or if they wait till next season. I think they should be available. I think it's like like movies. I think you've got I think he gives you 90 days. Like release dates? Yeah. Or uh new new releases. New releases, yeah. yeah. I think it's like new releases. I think you I think you get 90 days. So wasn't it like something like, like memorize who won? But yeah. it was like 90 days from when they get released for like home viewing typically. Like when it comes out on Blu-ray or digital download type of thing. Yeah, but like because once, like now all of the all of the results are going to be public, like yeah, mm -hmm. then it's I it's it's I think it's ninety days from today. I'm not quite sure though. That that is probably something that I'm hoping that will be released in an email so that he doesn't get a million and a half texts. Mm -hmm. um, so best costume design. That's a big one for Mulan too, though. Yeah, we've got Emma, Ma Rainey's, uh, Mank, Mulan, and Pinocchio again. Well, Pinocchio. I, I was going to try to guess, but they he just said the winner. So it was <laughs> not who I was thinking of guessing, but no, it would have been my second one. I'm going to predict that it's actually. Yeah, oh, me too. One? Ooh, I was going to say, Emma? I'm going to predict that it's uh, Emma because they usually always put period pieces in there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ma no. Rainey did get it. I did okay. get it right. Yeah. I was I was going to guess uh, Mulan. Yeah, who did you guess? I guess Mank. Just uh -oh. like for fun. Uh, <laughs> I love Mank's. Anyways, costume. back to a commercial break. I'm going to refill this glass right here. I support you. <laughs> or maybe I need the glass to begin with. <laughs> Good help, sir. I don't think you need anything. Just <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got I've got Mank for production design, not for costume. Mm. Although I will say that, Jess, you saw Mank, right? Yes. Uh, Emma, or not Emma, uh, Amanda Siegfried's costumes in Mank were just like freaking epic. Yeah, they were so much fun, especially that uh, uh, that circus 
uh, circus leader costume for the dinner. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I would have been like, so I get to keep this after the filming, right? She was my favorite part. Like, every time she was on screen, I, I enjoyed the movie. And then the rest of it, it's kind of like, uh. I liked her and Lily Collins. <laughs> yeah. Like, all of the women that were trying to keep him in line, I was like. Lily Collins, I mean, just as a Yeah. I mean, we've had Which is a huge compliment, by the way, because I, yeah. I mean, God, what is with this light? It's so touchy. Um, I honestly think that, like, legit, if you did your hair just right, you could 100% pass for her. Like, I yeah. think her, like, in Snow White, I look like... Because she's, like, paler, you know? Or mirror, yeah, sorry. Mirror, mirror, yeah. 100%. <laughs> her as Snow we could We could make this happen. <laughs> I mean, once we go back to playing in studio, I think it would be really fun for an entrance. Oh, very true. I'm yeah. I'm curious how much that's gonna stay. Like if it's so like sporty now, you know. Well. Oh, like the fun entrances. They're not gonna take that away. It's one of the. It's one of the yeah. funnest things that they have for the, you, for the league. Someone tried telling Bibiana. I'm just someone curious. Someone tried telling Bibiana like, he's not gonna do a fun entrance and see what yeah, happens. <laughs> We never hear from Bibiani again. We just keep getting updates for uh, Salt Cat. Is that the soap company? Salt Cat. Yeah, Salt Cat Soap. I've got some Salt Cat Soap. Bibiani would hate that. Just, <laughs> you just can't. Yeah. You can't take it. That, 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 that's one of his like creative outlets. You can't take that away yeah. from him. You can take the man from the entrance, but you cannot take the entrance from the man. <laughs> well, that sounded weird. <laughs> it made sense though. But true. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> I always find it really funny when like, I mean I I could see it. <laughs> um I would need a little bit more work than just my hair. We need a lot more work than just my hair. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Although I do know some tricks to make your eyes just like fucking friggin' pop. Like, <laughs> hey, look, it's Heisenberg. On yeah, honestly, hey. one of the one of the best jokes that's ever been written into a movie for their actress is the joke about uh, Amanda Siegfried looking like Gollum in Ted Two. Like that joke killed me. Was that the one? Was it Ted 2 that had the Liam Neeson trying to buy tricks at the grocery store? No, I think that was the or, first. Or is that the first one? one? So I've been led to believe that these are only for kids. <laughs> I was like, this is hilarious. Liam Neeson. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you would kindly not tell anyone I did this, I'd be much appreciative of it. <laughs> I wouldn't have to hunt you down. I will find is it, you. Is it just me or does uh, Brian Cranston look just a little bit older than normal? Uh, to be fair, don't judge. It's ever we, we've been in lockdown. He's been <laughs> Everyone a looks long time with his family. That's a good point. Like, everybody's gonna look a little ragged coming out of this year. That's a good point. Good Lord, I, Chris, you quarantine he, shamer, you. He does. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. He <laughs> does look uh, aged, but like. Well, wow. like that man's gonna age so but beautifully. distinguished. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. how old is he now? Brian Cranston? He's gotta be like, was. He's like mid sixties, right? Yeah, it seems pretty accurate. To me. Yeah. Sixty five. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I just I really love that he said that we'll be back in the Dolby Theater next year. I was like, oh, thanks, Lord. <laughs> was well, Brian Cranston able to tell the future better than Jessica is right now? <laughs> well, we're all going off assumption at this point. He is Brian Cranston. Um, yeah, say his name. I want to be friends with Reese Witherspoon and Laura Dern. 
They need to ask Brian Cranston. <laughs> ask Brian Cranston, hey, is the pandemic going to be over in time for the Oscars next year? And he's like, you're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, for those of us watching us, we are live, and typically this is a family-friendly uh, channel, but, you know, my little brother's on here tonight, so who knows what's going to happen. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. I'm like, I'm trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am drinking, but I'm still trying. Hey, you know what? It's it's nice. Rachel, you'll notice that we haven't said anything to you in the private chat, so. I, I, I haven't whatever. noticed. I've just been. We haven't a- said anything <laughs> in the private chat. <laughs> yeah, we haven't said anything in the private chat, so. We don't do private chats here. We just. We just let it ride. All of our chats are public. <laughs> By the way, Chris, it's your turn to do the dishes tonight. <laughs> Actually, no, it is mine. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even participate in a chat at all. He just takes care I, of it all. I just himself. do it myself. I have these inner monologues. <laughs> we are no. You know what? As long as you don't lose an argument to yourself, that's. That's where I draw the line. Yeah, I remember right. there's that that like people people were saying some people don't have an inner monologue, and I was like, wait, what do you mean? What's an inner <laughs> so monologue? Don't, you don't talk like to there's in your head. <laughs> I don't think I do. I do, but I don't. I don't, don't do something, and then you're like, oh, you're such an idiot, like in your oh. head. Definitely. Do That's that. your inner monologue. <laughs> oh yeah, I, 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 I can, I, I can understand that. Uh, my brother does it all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> nicely done, sir. Nicely done. I see that. Okay. Oh, Garth. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to be honest. I wasn't paying attention to a word you said. And that gesture was completely by accident. So it doesn't <laughs> it all worked out for me. <laughs> I love seeing the people that do the uh, the sign language translating during stuff like this. Oh yeah, because they're working. They're working. Dude, my favorite ones are the ones at concerts. Oh man, they get so into it. Oh yes, like especially think- like Noob Dogs and Eminem's concerts. Like those oh. girls bust it out. Yeah, because like, how do you? Because I don't really know much about sign language, but like volumes and like when things speed up, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> um, well, a lot of a lot of the times, like it, it goes too fast, so it's more of like a feeling and like the emphasis that you put into the into the sign. Let's them know yeah. like how loud it is, or sometimes yeah. they'll be like, uh, they'll do the sign for like guitar, and they'll like hush it down, and like because it's like playing softer. Um, it do there. It's amazing to watch the. It's it's an art it's form. It it's really an art form is. to be able to it's a performance. Yeah, I remember uh, um, taking some sign language in high school, and like whenever they would do something like that was like smaller or shorter. I'm doing on the screen. They would <laughs> they would sign they would sign in a like more quieter yeah, way. Yeah. Or if it's like bigger, they would do bigger and grander gestures. There are some videos on YouTube that I will go and watch just to be like, God, I miss live concerts and just like watch the sign language people on the like on stage right or stage left, like just go balls to the walls and just like and like wanna, always having more fun at those concerts than those sign language people. I want to go to a con. Uh, I want to go to a concert for the uh, bare naked ladies and see the sign language person do one week. It's been <laughs> one week. <laughs> I'm I'm familiar with them, so. I, <laughs> oh my heart. Uh, Sorry. No, I've, I mean, I've seen I've seen I've seen somebody sign language to Machine Gun Kelly, and that oh is God. like one of the most amazing things I've ever witnessed. It's the same person that has to sign language uh, REMs. It's the end of the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. So they're doing best director now? Oh, wait. This is interesting. The directors are all giving what they think directing means in, in 20 seconds. 
Oh, that's and cool. And then they're saying it. Oh, Bong Joon-ho. I love Bong Joon-ho. There he oh, is. Oh, he's so sweet. <clears throat> he's so mm-hmm. wholesome. He's like a... He's, he, is he Japanese? He's Korean, right? Yeah. Yes. He's like a Korean, like Winnie the Pooh. Like, just his constantly like winning last year and like I thought I was I was done. I was already starting to drink. Yeah. I was like, I love this guy. Oh, for Parasite, yeah. Yeah. Parasite was so good though. That Parasite was, was good. I like somebody did one of those like uh memes of like the the poster for Parasite with like I think I yeah. know what this movie's about. I have no idea what this movie's about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I saw the one earlier for uh, Midsummer, oh. <laughs> and it was like, "The hell's going on?" And it's like, "Good for her, <laughs> you go girl, <laughs> you go girl." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "I love it." <laughs> oh my gosh! If I could figure out a way around the language barrier, I would want to have a drink with with him. He speaks English. He does, but it, he, it's it's easier for him to. Like it's oh. he's more eloquent with well guys well, we found a way around the language barrier. <laughs> Emerald said when she was young she wanted to make move or write something about stories about murder. <laughs> she said that as a child. Well, well I mean to be fair, yeah, is. Scream came out when I was younger and I wanted to write a screenplay like Kevin Williamson. Oh, he's um, like holding it out. Oh, I love him. I have a sticker. Speaking of, speaking of not having a private chat, brother, we have a private chat now. Oh yeah. I just, I, Alex, uh, Alex Marzonia has uh, a shirt of Bong Joon Ho uh, after last year's, uh, after his win last year, and it's of him like playing with his Oscars and making them kiss. Yeah, yeah. that's on my whiteboard. <laughs> he, got a awesome. shirt, he got a shirt made out of it, and it's like my favorite thing that he owns. And he's got some great clothes, <laughs> but it was like... He was, cause he was like, he's like, should I get this picture or this picture? I'm like, you gotta get the one of him, like, kissing. Yeah, that's the one. Wait, so are they actually doing director now, or are they just announcing who's yeah, up for it? Yeah, they're doing yeah, directing. Yeah. Wow. This is so, that's like, right. out of... Are they hoping we forget by the time they get to best picture so we're not already like predicting? All right, well, we know who's going to win. There you go. Picture. There you go. That's what I thought. <laughs> Sorry, that gives a, that kind of gives it away a bit, but good lord, dude. Two of us are still behind you. <laughs> I like how he, he's showing the envelope. Yeah, no, I thought it was so cute. He's like, pulling it out. Just in case we get another La La Land moonlight scenario. <laughs> Who Chloe! Was it? Oh, oh, okay, cool. You, Who's girl. <laughs> Next time you talk when they're announcing a big award like this, I'm going to pop you off the screen. I have that power. <laughs> Who, me? No. No. I would never do that, Rachel. You can talk all you want. You said That's to hold on to the goodness of yourself and hold on to the goodness <laughs> of each other, no matter how hard it gets or something. It's so precious. <laughs> She's just so cute. She's so tiny. Okay, so That's a good point. They wanted him in there, and so yeah. they had to do it early uh, for his time difference. I mean, to be fair, they so, says the person that's in it. New Zealand. <laughs> they they could have they could have just recorded it and played it. Yeah. Like that's not that big of an issue. Yeah. I like her. She's adorable. She like. I don't know, like, uh, she's kind of reminds me of, like, a female baby Yoda. <laughs> I, was, I, was, wow. I was legit about to say, does she not look like she just came off of, like, filming, like, an episode of uh, The Mandalorian? Yeah. And I say that because baby Yoda's adorable. We all love baby Yoda. 
Not because she looks like a little green alien, which she doesn't, but... It's the dress. The damage has already been done. <laughs> no, actually, I think it is like the, the dress, because it does kind of look like uh, Grogu's robes. The color, And at her least. braids are kind of yeah. like... Like Grogu's, know, like, the, like Grogu's braids. I'll be the one to say it. Her ears kind of point out a little bit, and it's super cute. <laughs> she's and adorable. honestly, she's just healing me right now. I just, I, and she's not wearing heels. Oh, yes, girl. She's okay, so like, basically, what? I needed to be the one to break the ice on saying that, and the rest of y'all all agree. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, t- I'll take the hit. But I love, I love her dress. It, she looks like she's the most comfortable human being on the face of the planet right now. She's wearing yeah. a super flowy dress. She's wearing some like. Super comfortable, like cross trainers. <laughs> did I miss Don Cheadle doing the Christopher Walken impression? I don't think he. They did were joking one. about that. No, he actually does do a great Christopher Walken impression. But he did. What he a didn't horrible do it thing to tease me with. I know. I was getting excited. Hey. I just read a funny. tweet that says, "Not West Side Story," just trying to hide the lead of their film. That is true. Yeah. They showed him for like two seconds, and yeah. then they didn't show him anymore throughout the whole trailer. That is true. <laughs> Who, Elgort? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I'm still going to go see it like 30 times in the theater. I mean, I I still enjoy Baby Driver, but yeah. the movie's got it's a couple of uh, problems. <laughs> yeah, but I still really enjoy it. Like, if anything happened to John Hamm or uh, Jamie Foxx, that movie would be unwatchable. <laughs> um, nothing can happen to John Hamm. We have had made eye contact while he was peeing. He is the most pure soul. <laughs> well, that sounds right. like a good start to it. Forget no, the Oscars. Forget We're done with the Oscars. Story. We're listening to this story now. I don't know who wins anything anymore. So, so I was, Come on, commercials. I was, I was in New York selling merchandise for um, Oh Hello on Broadway, which was Nick Kroll and... Um, John Mulaney. It was their their two man show mm-hmm. on uh, on Broadway, and it was a, like a ninety six minute one act show, um, and it was in a very old theater where the only way to get from front of house to the back of house where my merchandise was my merchandise office was was to either walk halfway around a city block in New York or Oof. go through a path where the only entrance was through the men's room. So during the show, it was like a safe bet to like pound on the door, be like, "Female, is anybody in there?" Like, okay, whatever. So I left, and you have to like go out this door that's literally right next to a like a urinal stand. So you have to go around it, and then it's like this wide that goes parallel to the theater. Go up, go on stage, go up this rickety staircase to the office, and come back down. So I was coming back with the merchandise. And I'm banging on the door into the men's room. Nobody answers. I open the door and it's like a two step step down into the bathroom. <laughs> the doorway's here. I open the door and there's a partition to the urinal that's right there. And John Hamm is standing right there on opening night in his tux. Can't see anything because it's like it's like the, the divider is he, like here. He's facing the wall. We just but you're aware of what's going. And I go. I, like I'm like, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. And I'm just like, oh my god, I am so sorry. He's like, well, you're already in here. Come on in. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Left, came back out. He was super sweet about it. He was so kind. He's also just ridiculously attractive in a tux. And to be that close, and it was... Yeah. I feel like men generally just are okay with that. If you're just walking by, just... Hey. But it was like a face-to-face, like... Yeah. Like, I was nine inches from his dick. Oh my you were nine inches from his nine inches. All right. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that length. I don't know. It was, it was, it was definitely a, hi, I'm a big fan. I'm going to go now. Um, <laughs> can I get, can I get a <laughs> selfie with you? Can you get your <laughs> Is not, is now not a good time. <laughs> No, he he came out after the show um, and stopped to buy a magnet, and I was just like, I, me being me, uh, he handed me a ten dollar bill, and I just went, I hope you washed your hands, and he cracked up. And this was one of those shows that like the 
the the house management was very much like don't talk to anybody unless spoken to like mm. uh you know like there's gonna be a lot of actors and like directors and like well-known people here so like don't talk to don't talk to the celebrities um but they all love me so i was like Fuck you. Fine. yeah uh brian nussbaum welcome uh i think we think they did uh best director early because of um what's his name bong boon john Bong Joon-ho. yeah i uh, you and because the names of, because of the aren't stop, american jeez because of the time difference where he's at so they wanted to get him on uh i think malcolm was the one that actually said it yeah yeah is so they're doing sound. Uh, this has to go to Sound of Metal. Yeah. Does Riz on is Riz on Med like British? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yep. not fair. <laughs> <laughs> like three fourths of the people do in this. Whatever. Wait, is this sound mixing or just sound? They're just sound. both. The, well, aren't they the same thing now? Editing no. and mixing, editing oh, for, and mixing the push for together. This, for this year, yes, I think they are the same thing. I'm going sound of metal on this one, guys. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, dude, if it loses, I'm going to be very, very upset. There you go. You won't be upset. <laughs> Yay! All right, guys. All right, guys. That was nice. That was nice how he did that too. Oh yeah, he's just like, look at it. Yeah. That movie is so good. I remember watching the trailer and being like, I cannot wait to watch this movie. Yeah. And then I didn't watch it literally until today because it's it, it connects to me so emotionally that I, I didn't want to have to put myself through that until absolutely necessary. I saw Dan Merle posted his like prediction sheet. Oh, I thought you meant I saw Dan and like like da- like I saw Dan like yes we did later, and I was like that guy knows fucking everyone. <laughs> no, and I well one I was like let's see if I can beat him like the only time I'll get the chance to do that. <laughs> but we have a lot of the same things, so I don't know. I think I could beat him in a thumb war. <laughs> No, he's got he's got really skinny fingers. He's got like long skinny fingers. Maybe a dance off? I don't you, even oh, know. But maybe. Oh, I totally could beat him. <laughs> Rachel, you you could beat him as first one to get to the new uh, Schmodown studio and go. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Well, I probably won't be able to do that. Give me two hours, Jessica. You won't be able to do that. No. Jessica, I mean, you'll have fair. to be Jessica, you'll have to be like first one back to your old alma mater and go. <laughs> and Christian would refuse to believe that you exist. <laughs> but to be fair, uh, we don't know where the new studio is, so <laughs> Dan well, might yeah, for everybody. <laughs> Dan might Unless actually plan on putting it in like this it's side in, of the it's in Austin, Texas, and you'll all have to move here. <laughs> oh uh-huh. no! How terrible. <laughs> okay, so live action short film. This is a toss up because I've seen none of them. I do not have a horse in this race, nor do I know who was. Yeah, I'm usually, I just usually was not. like, pick this one. Sounds good. <laughs> I feel like I have a hard enough time trying to get all the, like the best pictures in right before the I Oscar guess race. Feeling through is what I guess, but I really did no idea. So not based on anything, just yeah, Garth. That's that's kind of how that works, right? Oh, uh, I wasn't right. He beat guy in movie trivia, and then guy beat Dan. Oh. So technically, he beat Dan. Danny, we got yeah. this one right. There's no way. <laughs> I think it's more of like a rock, paper, scissors type thing there, Garth. I love Riz Ahmed. Oh my goodness, their suits are interesting. 
Uh, I didn't beat Andrew Guy, so I'm not going to be able to beat Dan. No, no, no. You beat Andrew Guy. DJ couldn't beat Drew McQueenie. <laughs> I got it. I got it all figured out. That's how teams work. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so chat's on the same time timing as me because they're talking about the suits as well. So. So yeah, those of y'all in the chat watching, uh, if you're watching it like live on TV, you're probably ahead of us. Yeah, you're like a minute and a half ahead of us. Which... I mean, to be fair, I probably could have put it up on the TV back here if that electric storm that we had didn't blow out both the box and my TV. Oh no. Yeah. Which reminds me, I need to get rid of that TV. <laughs> <laughs> you want the one from my room? I'm not using it. Well, it also blew out my PlayStation. Funny, my I have room, so my I have TV, but I still choose right to watch things on my computer or on my phone even. Just yeah. out of laziness, I guess. <laughs> so my TV's not like awesome. super new. So I can't like watch any of the yeah. newer streaming stuff on my TV without Wait. having to connect it with HDMI. That's just a pain to me. Wait, what? What is he? What? Oh my God, those suit jackets and, and those... bow ties. No, I'm going to yeah. make up what he's saying. I honestly couldn't really hear it. What is this about? Holy shit. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I actually watch a lot of stuff on my phone. Partially, anything that's on Amazon Prime, I have to watch on my phone because my dad's phone number is connected to the Amazon account, and he never answers his phone, and so I'm locked out of that on my TV, so it's just my phone. So I watched uh, One Night in Miami on my phone. Oh, this so this sounds interesting, y'all. This what Two this Distant story, Strangers. Y'all? Sounds like it's on Netflix. Every time, uh, you try, is it? Yeah, this sounds actually really interesting. What's it about? Uh, the film examines the deaths of Black Americans during encounters with police through the eyes of a character trapped in a time loop that keeps ending in his death. Oh, jeez! Good yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> That reminds me of that that Netflix movie a little bit. Um, oh yeah, the was it See You Tomorrow? See, or you, like see you yesterday. See you yesterday. Yeah. Uh. Is there wait? Is there another time loop movie that's come out? Uh, no, there was. It was a Netflix original movie. Because there was that Palm Springs, and then of course Groundhog Day. Because uh, it's about a girl. She like in like figures out how to time travel, and she keeps going back to try to save her brother who gets killed by police. I think. Yeah. Interesting. I watched a video recently that was like, like Mel Sticks or something like that. Yeah. Time loop movies are the new like zombie movies. It's like a thing now. Like there's so many of them in the past like ten years or so. Yeah, some of them get uh, really right. Like like I really enjoy the Happy Death Day movies, and I am stoked to see what they do with three. Eh, I've been That's indifferent so on them. I mean, they're not going to win any Oscars, but like I love. Palm Springs was good. Uh, uh, what's Luther. it? Uh, yeah. I can never remember exactly what it's called. The Live, Die, Repeat. Oh. No. The Tom Cruise. Edge of Tomorrow. 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 <laughs> Whatever they decide to officially call that movie, I think they're still in the process of trying to figure that out. But <laughs> that one was that was really good. And I love the explanation for the source time loop code and everything. That was in too. Eh, I did not like source code. Yeah, I'm not saying it's good. I'm just trying to think of I forget, examples. I forget about source code. It was okay. So the one I really liked was the first time loop movie I ever saw was a made for TV what? movie called uh 1201. Had a uh, uh, Jonathan Silverman and Jeremy Piven in it uh, with a, 
oh, what's her face? Helen Slater and Walter Matthau. Not Walter Matthau. Um, dang it, what's his name? I can't remember. Oh, oh, one. But yeah, it was based off of a short film, and then they turned it into a... It came out roughly around the same time as Groundhog Day, and Groundhog Day, since it was theatrically released and starred Bill Murray, that's the one that everyone thinks of a time loop movies. I always think of 1201. Are you talking about Martin Landau? Martin Landau, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Vernon. God, what happened to Jonathan Silverman? He was in freaking everything. He was in some good stuff. I he liked. was. I really enjoyed some of the movies he was in. Mm-hmm. Single he, guy. He, he kind of went the way of like Steve Gutenberg, where you're like, I like one or two things he's in, and then I never heard from him ever again. Dude, the goot was a babe. <laughs> the goot. The goot. The goot. <laughs> the goot. What was he? He was in a really good streak of them, like in the early 2000s, like late 90s or something, I, I feel like. Gutenberg? No, uh, Silverman. Uh, other than 1201 and The Weekend at Bernie's. Uh, that reminds Maybe me of an animated short. He was in Maine in 2001. That's right. That reminds me of the uh, the question during the free for all where the answer was Stanley Tucci. And, and I'm not like answering the any of the in the chat. And I'm like, the Tooch! <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tooch! It's always the Tooch. Is that uh, Transformers? One of the so I only especially Merlin. Yeah. I only watched Burrow. Oh gosh, my jaw just broke. But I felt attacked by it in terms of like did you guys watch it? No. The what? Just because it's about like a bunny rabbit like digs and he has this like his plan of what he wants his home to be, his burrow or whatever. And then he sees like other people's burrows and how like awesome they are. And then he's like, I don't want you to look at what I want mine to be and oh. like can't accept help and all this. And I'm just like, that sounds like, uh, like keep, me like up avoiding with the Joneses. feedback on an assignment that I have right now because I think everyone else did it better than me. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I feel called out by a cartoon rabbit. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Jess, if cartoon rabbits, things that happen to cartoon rabbits bother you, don't ever watch Watership Down. Yeah. <laughs> The original Watership Down. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. Just, 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 just stick with the new Mortal almost, Kombat movie. There's a lot less blood. I almost <laughs> chose this, and then I didn't. How are you doing right now? I love Reese Witherspoon. How's your, uh, how's your ratio going? Okay, well, let's see. I gotta, I'm gonna mark what Best we've animated gone short film. Burrow. I really want to like get more into all the cool Oscar shows next year. Yeah. I want to get more into it and then like be able to like know exactly what's going on with everything at all times. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know everything. I want to know everything. I want to like what like watch all the all the documentaries, all the short films. I'm not saying I'll we'll watch them all, but at least like study up on them and know what yeah. you know what's going know what on with them. About. What the what the talk of the town is. That way, when they call the winner, you could be like, "Yes, I knew it." And you're like, "It's like best animated short film. No one else knows what you're talking about." One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, but now that this is, this is going to be like, it's it's now going to be up on YouTube now. So now I I, I have to do I'm it. Sixty percent, six out of ten. Nice. That's not bad. I think I'm. I think I'm rocking a 50-50 split. I got costume and hair and makeup. Uh, I got mm. best sound correct. I got sound. Yeah. That's three. Both of the short ones. I got, ones I I got, got screenplay. I got original screenplay. So that's four. Thanks, Malcolm. Appreciate it. I got four. Okay. So uh, four. Yeah. Whatever. Thanks, Malcolm. The butthole video. Uh, that was classic. That was classic. That one was fun to edit together, though. I watched about a, about one minute of what one, and I was like, 
This is gonna be sad, isn't it? I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I thought she was talking about our butthole video. I've watched about a minute, of it, and this is gonna be sad, isn't it? <laughs> no one blames you for turning it off after a minute. <laughs> Just because I don't know what you're referring to. It's a who, who one, bro? No. Uh, no. The uh, if anything happens, anything I love happens. you. Okay, best animated is is happening now. So. Best animated is accepting. Not accepting. Reese is about to announce it. Oh, okay. Like the um, nomination. Best animated film. So I mean, this going is to, going. This is gonna go to Soul. It's going to Soul. Yeah. Best animated. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Wolf Walkers was absolutely stunning. You mean um, Farmageddon? Shaun the Sheep movie isn't gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Based off of title alone, <laughs> was that actually is that done by the same people? Yeah, it is. Ardman. Here, here's the thing. Like for me, this is definitely a Pixar year. It's if it's not Soul, it's definitely Onward. If it's not Soul, I think it goes to Wolf Walkers. Honestly, I mean, I loved Over the Moon. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Like the artistry that went into it was so mm. beautiful. I'm looking at the poster for Wolf Walkers, and I'd probably give it to them just based off the poster alone. <laughs> it is such a good movie. Is Over the Moon a Netflix movie? Yeah. yeah oh, it's a musical. Who, yeah, the girl who did the main voice. Wait. The girl who did the main voice for it uh, and it, like sang and acted as the, the lead uh, was a student of a uh, friend of mine uh, here in the Bay Area. Uh, this looks interesting. What's this about? Which one? Over, Over the, moon. the moon. Uh, it's about her mom. Her mom dies, and at the beginning of it, and there's a, um, there's kind of a a folk tale about the woman on the moon, uh, that her mom used to tell her a lot, and she decides that she's going to go to the moon, and help the woman on the moon find her love and go find her. Uh, her mom and, the, and the, it's it's a really like the artistry is fantastic. And she's got a all pet. you have to do is jump over. I've the seen moon. Soul three times already. <laughs> Thank you. So I'll be upset if it doesn't. Win. <laughs> nope. Thank you, Rachel. Oh my for gosh, it's trying to make that. me cry again. This one song makes me. We're not there yet, Jessica. <laughs> The it's like Epiphany is the track name. From what? From Soul. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I cried during. Well, I haven't seen Farmageddon, but I've cried during four of the five animated features. The second time I watched Soul, I was sobbing. Like it oh, was yeah. bad. Like I was like, oh, you, you know, ask there's like. There's a crying where you just shed a little Chums. tear. Sometimes you, it gets a little watery, but it's not like crying. I was like, <laughs> like, oh, no, you, can, you, can legit, you can legit talk to me. This, this looks ridiculous. And Goddard was sitting right next to me during um, Onward when we went to the screening uh, on Disney campus. And I was like, just, I had a Ooh. handful of napkins and they were just sopping wet by the end of the movie. Okay. I want to watch this. Over the Moon looks good. Over it's, the Moon? Yeah. It's good. Uh, Sean the Sheep looks ridiculous. I don't want to watch this. I mean, I do because it looks stupid. I've, I've never been. Gromit. I've never been a Wallace be, and Gromit fan. So, be um, what Howl's Moving Castle or something. So you never know. Well, yeah. Howl's Moving Castle. That was uh, what you call it? Studio Ghibli. Mm -hmm. No, but she's saying uh, Sean the Sheep beats. Uh, was it Howl's Moving Castle? Right. Wallace and Gromit. That like one year. Yeah, Walls and Gromit's oh. uh, yeah. yeah. That was when there were only three Where, Where Rabbit. nominations. Where yeah. Rabbit, yeah. That beats a Studio Ghibli movie. It also beat a Disney movie, which is the Oof. reason why the category um, like, got put into place. That's crazy. It beat Tim, Tim Burton, uh, Corpse Bride. Oh. Well, Walkers is so beautiful. It like it cool. made me it made me miss hand drawn movies. Oh wow. Yeah, this looks cool. Yeah, it has this whole thing where, like, if you're a wolf walker, you're while your while your body is asleep, your soul stays awake as a wolf, and it's like, oh, 
I was like, she said the winner, and I don't know who any of these people are. And then I recognized one of them. I was like, okay. Um, we obviously have to Pete. The yeah. Who made this yes, Pete. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be Soul now. <laughs> yeah. Soul. Yeah. Anybody who bet against that, like. Doom. Mm, what? Come on. Yeah. Come on. You know how this shit works. <laughs> Pixar. This was Pixar wins. Literally pushed this movie out during a pandemic so it could get this award. Now don't make it sound bad. That makes it sound like this movie's like not worth anything. Soul was fantastic. No, that's not at all what I said. I wish it ended with more of like a teaching is my you know, like they kinda like yeah. shoved that off to the side at that the was, end. I was like Soul was easily the best movie released on that day. A hundred percent, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're referring to. Wonder Woman 84. Wonder Woman 84. Still haven't seen it. Yeah, well, oh. you're not missing anything. <laughs> I mean, and I know it was bad because my First parents all, rented yes, it, and they were like, me. "She is missing the amazing that. Kristen Wig." In yeah, her Kristen Wig amazing was good in that transformation into Cheetah. Oh my god! As much Kristen sense Wig as it doesn't as it doesn't make, it was good. <laughs> Kristen Wig and uh, Chris Pine's pants are the real stars of that movie. I don't want to know the story about Chris Pine's pants. No, just the fact that like they fe- like that they made he was wearing those them. parachute pants mm-hmm. from the eighties hey. that were just life uh, is good, but it could be Chris Pine's pants. But could he? But he could be wearing <laughs> Chris Pine's pants. That's right. That's the that's the best thing about it is the meme it created. <laughs> life is good, but it could be Chris Pine's pants. But it could be better. It could be better. Um, Who let her wear that dress? Nine, ten, eleven, four. Looks like a picnic table. I mean, but like with crinolines underneath it. Why? Does I'm that sure have like, pleats? I'm sure she's got a great figure. This makes her look. This makes her look like Mrs. Potts covered in a, in like a really sad, picnic, table cloth thing. Well, Rachel, you know we've ha- all had a tough year. <laughs> This this what Malcolm's saying here sounds like a justifiable reason to watch movie forty three. I've seen that. <laughs> Sorry, I did, but I've seen it. I have not seen it. Nah. I'm pretty I'm sure I've seen Hugh Jackman with <laughs> balls Scrooge on his chin, or whatever. Yeah. and I've seen um, Anna Ferris talking about how she wants. Chris Evans poop on her. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was that was a blast. Wait, what? What? Did I <laughs> exactly. Have you not, Rachel? Have you not seen movie forty three? No, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably for the best. What's funny is it was shortly after that was when Anna Faris and uh, Chris Pratt broke up. Chris Pratt broke up. Why did he have to go so crazy? He was so beautiful and so much fun. Oh, Chris Pratt. Um, yeah. He was like at the top of almost everyone's like, I want to grab a beer with this person list. And then he like lost his mind and married a Schwarzenegger. Ooh. What commercial is this? This is Zendaya on a white horse and I'm all for it. It's a perfume. Definitely not there yet. That's a perfume commercial. What? Yeah, perfume commercials are crazy because they're, they're like super extra. If, it's, how, if you think about it, how do you like show perfume? Like, yeah, if it's, this if is what perfume feels like. If it's like. a female dressed hey, in light color wait. surrounded by light colored objects, it's either perfume or a tampon commercial. Hey, you, look, it's a it's a subway you, commercial. It's the official you, commercial for C two A. You buried the lead. It's <laughs> Zendaya on a white horse in the L.A. River. River, yeah. <laughs> oh, good lord! I didn't even re- realize that. That's before the last place I would wear you, anything white. Avoiding the spray of dysentery. <laughs> Look, we're here in Austin, Texas, and we we know the LA River. Just stay away from. It. Oh yeah, I don't. I did I not think, know. How many how many times have I visited LA? Three. Probably. You sound like such a tourist right now. <laughs> Except, I, like, I have absolutely no reason to go to the touristy parts ever again. It's one of like it's it's honestly it used what to be one the... of the things was when friends or family would visit LA while I was living there and they'd mm-hmm. be like let's go to Grommens and I'm like all right and then I'm like yeah we get to go to Grommens <laughs> yeah what is it Grommens Grommens Chinese, Grommens Chinese, Chinese, Chinese it's where all the like the hands and feet and um... the knives are 
Um, and it's like, actually, it's such a touristy place that like nobody who lives in LA, excuse me, <clears throat> actually goes, goes there. I do actually Ex want to go see a movie there again though. <clears throat> except for, except for oh. the people dressed up in costume. It's so beautiful oh. inside. Yeah. The theater itself is gorgeous <clears throat> inside. I went and saw a uh, Bohemian Rhapsody there and it was like the most perfect choice ever for a movie for that theater. Yeah. yeah. I saw, was it in 2014? I saw actual Guardians of the Galaxy in 3D there. Oh, that, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. It's good. Yeah. Good experience. I, I, just, I will forever have that connection of experience with Guardians of the Galaxy. I just miss movie theaters. Do you guys see uh, Koi's picture in front of uh, the AMC Burbank? AMC. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, we have another oh, guest. That was, that was oh, the we have another, another guest. We have another guest. He's going to hop in. Who, who else from the den is joining us? Well, <laughs> let's just say. I, lo I love his face. He used to be part of like, the den. He's <laughs> like, I'm not from the den. No. He's no. not there. No. No. <laughs> no, none of that. None of that. So what are we talking about? We are. Well, you are joining us. Are you playing the corruption theme? <laughs> Get out of you can't say I'm in front of the den without some sort of retaliation. Of <laughs> Come on. Nice. Well, Come well played, on. sir. Well, so I mean, we're coming we're coming out of a commercial break, so we're we're having like some conversations while lightly paying attention to the Oscars. So, oh, well, I'm not watching them at all. So that's I'm glad we're on the same page. You're missing yeah. some fun outfits. Well, Ooh, I Mar so Marley okay, Maitland. Let's let's play a game, Rachel. Name one movie that's in the Oscars. Any of them? Yeah, any of them. We've been talking about Mank? it. Never heard of it. The Father? Raw Didn't Mink? see it. Ma Rainey's Sound Black Metal. Bottom? Sound of... Uh, D none of that sounds interesting. This, Sound sounds of like, this sounds like the Oscars have to pass through the Sean Sullivan test before well, he I, acknowledges okay. the Do, existence of them. Rachel, also... <laughs> hi, Jessica. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Sean. Hey. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, Rachel, you know me pretty well. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. Do, do I watch any movies that are remotely Oscar movies? Um, <laughs> yes. Star Wars will get You've seen Soul. Hmm? You've seen Soul. I guarantee that you've seen Soul and Onward. So, boom. I've seen Soul and Onward. Those are animated. Yes. But it's everyone Oscar cares nominated. about... Uh, yeah, Oscar's put Oscars the against me. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, trust me, you'll win that match. <laughs> just, just stay in the Star Wars. You're fine. Yeah, I'll stay in Star Wars. You know. Um, now, hold on. Visual effects somewhere, right? Okay, but I'm but, sure. okay. We could play this game all day. But like the <laughs> one movie, the one movie that I did see last year was Palm Springs, which Wait, would I never lost. be. Sorry, I don't know who they announced who won, so y'all have to tell me. It's a documentary. Doc it's I know, documentary but I, short but I'm, I want to know if I got it right. <laughs> she's, she's got money on this. Uh, it's Colette. Oh. Dang it, you spoiled it for me. What's Colette about? I who knows? Know. That's an excellent question, Sean. It's a documentary short subject. I don't know so. what any of them Wait, are. Are about. you sure? Yeah. I, 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 I work 40 hours a week. I barely have time to pay attention to the movies that I need to talk about on our movie channel. I'm not going to be able to get to documentary short, short subject anytime soon. Nor <laughs> pronouncing it. Although nor I being able to say it, yeah. Last year, wasn't uh, wasn't one of them about the uh, the girls learning to skateboard? That one was really good. I did see that. I one. remember that, oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah, one yeah, was yeah. really fantastic. Well, Colette is a 2020... Uh, American documentary film directed by okay, but what's it about? Yes, we can we can pull up Wikipedia also. <laughs> it's about a French resistance um, member, Colette Marin Catherine. I almost picked that too, but I picked a love song a love song for Latasha, whatever that is. Sure. <laughs> so close. I said that sounds nice. <laughs> you you, you song, read the title and you're like, I love you like a love song, baby. Oh wow, beep, I haven't beep, beep, thought beep, about beep, that beep. song in a while. <laughs> Is that not a new song? Because I hear that playing at my work, no, like in our lobby, no. all the time, and I'm like, okay. That was okay. Selena, 
Selena Gomez in the scene. Like, it's at least she, years ago. Or, okay. Right? I don't I haven't listened to new music like in ten years except for what plays at work like in our lobby. Robert, we get it, you're old. It's okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm trying to set you up with Rachel, who's also <laughs> old. Oh, wow. wow. We don't use the O word. <laughs> So mean. I can call him old for you. It, I like, no, it, I like, it, it, I'm also <laughs> old, so it's okay. I prefer Wait. age or experienced. Thank you. Wait, Sean, you're younger than me, right? Yes. Yeah. By okay. eight years. You're closer to my brother in age? I'm much closer to your brother in age. If not the same exact age, because we're eight years difference yep. also. I think I think Chris and I are the same age. Okay. Yep. Well, they're about. That's okay. I know. I know. Rachel's like three years younger than me. So, am I? Mm-hmm. Turned forty this year. Yep. Yep. Oh, hold on. Let me recount that then, Robert. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> recount. Well done, sir. I am. I am two years younger than your brother. This seems like like a question that was like on the like the SATs or whatever. Yeah. If if Sullivan if Matt is, is five years older than Kenny years. and Kenny is three years younger than Ben, how old is Benjamin? <laughs> how long will it take? Yeah. How long will it take Nancy to How many me? apples oh, did Fred eat? <laughs> <laughs> the hell I'm supposed to be counting apples? What the where did the <laughs> apples come from? <laughs> We're supposed Who to be counting apples. apples. My math how my fast math is, is the train from Toronto going? <laughs> It's from Toronto. Who cares? We don't uh, have. I no, don't know. They no, measure no, in. No one from Canada is in here, right? We're good. Cool. They measure in kilometers. I don't know how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yes. Martin uh, is just so no, cool. no, no, Malcolm. Uh, she's no. younger than you. I'm older. I'm older. <clears throat> she's you younger are? than you, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> Emotionally, I'm way younger. Uh, physically. <laughs> I was trying uh, to help you out here. Like I'm about three times your age, but in reality, my birth certificate says I am two years older than you. So if any anyone in the chat could pin all of our ages, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> if you guys could just figure it out for us. I mean, I have said my age on the channel multiple times. Well, you are 32. I said mine a lot. My, uh, not my, yet. Mine I don't talk about too mine. often, but I, was, I had a feeling this year it was probably going to be a lot more well-known just because it is a big, a big number year. So... Garth. I'm guessing. I'm Why guessing. Am I not surprised? Garth, That's I appreciate terrifying. and am freaked out by that all at the same time. No, that that adds up. That adds That's up. That, that, that makes sense. It's not a if, bad thing. I'm- if it wasn't Garth, it'd be Haskell. Yeah. The age difference yeah. between me and Robert is a teenager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I okay. So I don't know how old Jessica is. I'm gonna guess. Old enough to drink this. Old enough to drink that. I'm going to guess that I have six years on Jessica. Uh, That's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Jake. Jake. Hello, love. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Jake. Oh, Jacob. Sean, what are you You guys could have had. I am drinking. um, It's a real. Well, can I say on this channel? Yes. It's apple juice. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's a that's a great Shirley Temple you got there. But it's Thank not you. Mots. That's <laughs> it's not Mots. It's definitely not Mots. Speaking of which, this needs a refill. Okay, bye. Oh, I thought you were telling Chris to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the no, I said this before. If Chris. I go into his room again on stream, I'm tackling him again in his new chair. He just got a new chair. He just got oh, that chair. Look, oh, was Chris, so you're gonna I hurt can... yourself. Sean, oh. I came I came on and one of the first things Dude. Robert said to me was, I got a new chair. And I was like, I'm so excited for you. Oh my god. Dude, I've already hurt myself. Like my toe's better now, but I've definitely got a couple bruises and Guys, I'm on a losing I'm on a losing streak. Wrong again. <laughs> Are you no, you what can't one? tell me that my teacher uh our, the, the octopus my teacher didn't win. Dude, that, that was such a good documentary. Oh. And so sweet. Do you want me to tell you if it won or did not win? No, I'm almost right here. I'm almost there. Okay. <laughs> Are we in a commercial or what's it showing? No. We're I love how it's still like it's still daylight in California like, yeah. at this time. Oh yeah. I oh just, yeah. It's, I had to close like my drink. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's nighttime I mean, here. It's, it's a gloomy. It's very gloomy daylight. But yeah. Is it gloomy down there too? Because it's been mm-hmm. like dreary here all day. 
Sean, can you switch over to your phone and then go crash the ceremony? <laughs> yeah. It'd be a lot of fun. It would be great for our he channel. He looks very nervous. Just, just, just. I'll give you the next three stream lives that come in if you do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to crash the ceremony. How do there I do that? You, you just got to run past security. You, you walk into the in, into the ceremony and you go. I answer movie trivia questions about all you people. <laughs> you have to act like no, you belong. No, but there. I don't answer them about them. I only answer them about Star well, Wars. All of you who were in a Star Wars movie. <laughs> you, the key is you got to walk in like you belong there. Look, yeah. I, I, I just, I, I, my movie knowledge is about as slim as a slim person. Stacy, yeah, Stacy Howard. Howard. Stacy Howard's angle. Wow. Yeah. Way to be a wordsmith there. I do. I will. I do have to say this. Like honestly, all you'd have to do well, is looks like, like Stacy. Oh, Stacy just shirt. left. She doesn't want to come on anymore. <laughs> No, Stacy loves me. I miss Stacy. Stacy and Rachel and uh, our friend Taryn and I went to the whole. Uh, oh God, what was it? Um, How jealous are you of Stacy having getting to play Kevin Smith? I don't want to talk oh. about. It. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> also like I don't want to play against him. I want him to like. I want to do a Kevin Smith off with me against Jericho. With Kevin and uh, and Jay at the yeah, table but, with Mark, yeah, but you'd crush yeah. Jericho. Yeah, I know, and I want to make him cry. You, and you gotta pick. Go it, it's gotta be like you against PJ, dude. No. We, okay, the, here's the thing. Y'all gotta hold off till uh, I make it back up into the Schmodown proper, so I can be on this Kevin Smith. Because you know, I want to be a part of that too. Fine. I just want to. <laughs> I just want Kevin Smith to be there asking the questions. I the also submission that I want also, is. Young adult novel adaptations, of course. It's true. I just want to make Chris Jericho cry too. I think that's the that Maze Runner. Fun. That'd be a that'd be a good yeah. uh, exhibition, actually. What young adult Kevin Smith? Yeah, YA. Yeah. Oh yeah. A oh, YA? Oh yeah, for an mm -hmm. exhibition match, yeah. There's, There's a lot of people who secretly also. Oh yeah, that's like the it. thing though is they all <laughs> secretly. So to be in that match, they have to publicly say, "I know what I'm well, talking like, about." In like YA uh, Ben Goddard like, would be in there. Ben I mean, Goddard, oh, yeah, uh, Molly Damon. Uh, Molly Damon's probably an ace at that. If, if it was Dan and me, I no, please, you'd please, y'all, y'all, y'all need to leak more secrets about Schmodown competitors so other Schmodown competitors come and watch our channel for <laughs> secrets when they're studying up on. All right, uh, right, who do you want? Who do you want to know about, Robert? Um, I'm uh, in the FCL. I don't care about the Schmodown people. Yeah, like, but who do you want me to tell the audience about? Oh, he doesn't speak for both of us, by the way. Wait, Chris, who do you want? Who do you want to know about, Chris? Who do you want to know? I'll get back to you. Okay, I think about that one for a minute. Who's that? That Jessica person on uh, the den? She seems pretty interesting. But I, can... I I just met her today, so <laughs> I don't I don't. What good are you, Sean? <laughs> Sean's like currently. It's she's funny how the comments are like, "She, what does she know?" Like, yeah. I'm like, what do I know? <laughs> Sean's like, "Here's what I know about her. She's currently on a losing streak in the Oscars." Hey, uh, hey, they were uh, all like sh documentary sh short Sean, films Sean, and... do, you, do you, Sean, do you think you could probably put in a good word for me with that, uh, that, uh, Rachel Silvestrini on okay, the Okay, I'm, you're done. All right, get out of here. <laughs> this is not why we invited Rachel here. <laughs> Look, I, I appreciate the I hustle. broke a chair for her. <laughs> no, I broke a chair for her. He was also the only one with an actual sweet answer to a question. During the show, what was oh it? the uh, the tattoo, what tattoo? What matching tattoo? That is would that get? is actually a really cool tattoo. Well, it's it a was... cool tattoo idea. Mar something Mary Poppins related, right? It was Maybe yeah. Rachel, so, Rachel, your mic is muted. Uh -oh. Whoa, oh there's a God. list of Schmodown birthdays? There we go. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, on the wiki sure. page. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I saw terrible. that I had like a wiki page like pretty quickly. <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh. So weird. Yeah, it, you know what's, you, and now when I Google if, myself, I'm the first person that pops up actually. And I was like, I don't know how I feel. You know, what, you know what's internet. weird also is you, you can search yourself on IMDb and you're on IMDb. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. not. There's if no you, way. Hold on. We don't have an actual so. You have an IMDb page. <laughs> All right. So nothing like, against... Turn around on that. It's probably... Uh, let's find out. I so, want to see this. So, we don't so, have we don't have that privilege in the FCL. We don't get that yet. That's so that Jesse, comes with uh, the tattoo thing was because uh, uh, the question that got me noticed at the panel of WonderCon was, um, when does Mary Poppins say that she will leave the Banks children in Mary Poppins? And the question, the answer is when the wind changes and comes from the west because she comes in on the east wind, and so. It was just a question that uh, I would always ask Robert, and we would joke around about it. And uh, he said that the tattoo mat matching tattoos that we'd get would be the weatherman. We would be like one of us would get it with the weather vane pointed east, and the other one would get it with the pointed west. Aww. right. That's By the good. way, the IMDb is only updated to Janine versus, um, or no, Damon. I don't know. It's not updated, so mine isn't up here yet. So you, I'm not you, on there. You didn't search There's, your name? Yeah, Here's I searched thing. my name, and it was just a bunch of random people named Jessica. Oh. Like anything like that. Yeah. I, oh, I so be honest, you pronounce your last name the same way we do. <laughs> wow. It's, it's I, Jessica I got. I got to be honest, guys. Uh, I have even less of a chance of finding myself on IMDb. Do you know how basic my name is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know how basic I my name is? Up mine, I'm like, well, in Ireland, Sean's yeah. Someone. Yeah, that's fair. I, yeah, some I, people have straight up just said my name is Jessica Sloth, and I'm like, "There's yeah, a C and an H in there." Just, um, just, apparently, yeah. apparently, I was in Back to the Future and Wayne's World. Uh, I was oh, also in 2001: A Space Odyssey. Wow, wow. what a resume! Well, so neither of those I, are I, me. I remember you in that. You were the baby, right? That was, was in the bubble. Was the embryo? The embryo in the bubble. Yeah, I remember yeah. listening to, to so, Pink Floyd's Echoes while looking at you. I okay. certainly, I certainly I can't Google my name. Nobody else understands that reference except maybe Rachel. <laughs> that people just, that birthdays are listed like to the day, and like. Oh, the, on the Schmodown Wiki page. I yeah. guess maybe from Twitter. Yeah. I think because I think my birthday's on my Twitter. There's a there's a Schmodown Pets page, and my cat is on there. Should what? Uh, J Jessica, you do have the same birthday as my sister, though. Ooh. Also, Jake Berlin's birthday's on here. Really? Yeah, if there was uh, any yeah. movie that you would have been in, Malcolm, Wait, where it would is be that one. Um... Yeah, uh, it, uh, Garth posted it in the chat. Oh, my gosh. Kelsey Kirkland, <laughs> Jake Berlin, Brian Ward. Am I what other oddballs are here? I am in there. My name's spelled correctly. Wait, wait, Andres, how are you in Jaws 23 when Jaws 19 was only in Back to the Future 2? Bedore's on here. Bedore's birthday is uh, July 26th. Which, uh, hold on a second. I need to so remedy today something. is April 20th. Wait, Bedore's birthday's on there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Oh. And Brian Avalicino. So today Actually, is Mick birthday. All of, uh, all of call to action, all of uh, POV, and all of um, certain point of view. Oh my gosh, I'm on there. Holy crap. What's Shug's last name? Is it Jimenez? Ooh, I'm a popular page, according to the... <laughs> What's Shug's last name? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> is it Richard Eric? Okay, wait, now I got Squarespace. Yes. I don't think his last name's Eric. I think his last name's something else. Well, okay, I'm back and we've got Steven Yen. Yes. Okay, we're on visual effects. Oh right, I forgot. Oh, oh Paul, Paul Jacob, Paul Jacob London, or PLD Jacob London and Jill all have the same birthday. I forgot. That's cool. Visual Paul, and I'm back. I've shit. got tenant for visual effects. I got it right. I'm not gonna tell you what I said though. So for I visual don't have an Oscar board. Visual effects: It's Love and Monsters, Midnight Sky, Mulan, the one and only Ivan, and Tenant. And I got Wait, where's, I, I where's, where's this at? Where, visual effects? Visual effects. I think it's either Tenet or Mulan, right? I, what are the other ones? Um, gotta be. Well, Tenet, Tenet and Mulan are the only ones. Oh, it's at the bottom. There we go. Yeah. Tenet and Mulan are the only ones I've seen out of all of those. So Same. I would probably. Uh, I kind of want to go Tenet. I haven't seen Tenet, but I'm going to give it to Tenet anyway, just because literally if if the best scenes weren't shown 
in the trailers and it just gets better and more crazier than that. Like actually the best scenes movie. probably were shown in the trailer. Uh, see? I know a lot about Tenet, but I haven't actually seen it. It's gonna be on HBO Max, I think, next month, so Also, I love that I'm still on this wiki page because <laughs> Why <wouldn't> people <laughs> are. You just That's... discovered like a whole new like. No, I'm I've on looked at the it. internet. I've looked at it before, but I never realized there was a list of birthdays. Oh yeah, there's a weird. There's like weird lists on there. Like oh. I said, there's there's a list of schmodown pets. So every person who's a a schmodown competitor. Pages. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm Wait, number four. It goes Christian, Dan, Stacey Howard, and then me. I don't know if it's because I'm looking at it. That's no, it shows popular. Like, it shows you under popular pages for me too. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so it shows it, it, ten at one. Where'd it go? Ryan did one. Woo! Yeah, that makes sense. Another win for me. <laughs> so, like in full transparency, I I found that wiki page. And I changed the image of me and my brother on our our wiki. Oh, that's smart! I can change my picture because I hate my picture. <laughs> yeah, you you, you can you can upload your just own go image. Go in and to upload that. my own picture. Ow! I tried doing. You know what? You can show me later because yeah, I've been well, trying to well, figure out how hey, to do Ra that. Rachel, Rachel, just send me the image that you want as your profile. I'll uh, I'll fix hey, it. Guys, look! I just used shameless plug here. Oh, you gotta put your meme up, Sean. That that oh yeah no Sean no, you mean I, yeah. I honestly yes. want to use you have to that, fine I, I will want to use that meme as my photo for everything now like can I yeah. put that on my license oh, you can do whatever you want I blame <laughs> oh I, blame I think I was chronic. right Ooh, um, I think I was right I love again. Eric sent out a tweet earlier today he's like I'm so sorry I created this I'm like no <laughs> you bless the internet with goodness <laughs> well the problem is Chris Clark got a hold of it that was the issue. <laughs> No, hey, that was the Brad best Pitt. thing that could have ever happened. Oh, um, so so my... supporting role. Well, wait, is mm, that mm. Brad Pitt? Finally, we yep. get to... Jessica was right. My uh, my hands smell wonderful. Right. I just used uh, my salt cat soap. Mm. Sean, well, you don't have to... So is it, for, is it just like hand soap? I don't know. It's a really big bar. That's one... My one constructive, constructive criticism is it's like, it's too big to effectively be hand soap. I'm. We're using it as hand soap, but I like, love Olivia. See, I bought Coleman's. hand soap in bulk, like Olivia Coleman year, still so. looks. <laughs> she still looks like a little girl that's like. Ah. It's because she's <laughs> British, and so yeah. sweet. And also, do you think all British people look <laughs> the same? Oh, Rachel, okay, Maria so, no, th this is a big one. No. Oh, Gosh. that is good. Yes. Gosh. Stop! Gee, <laughs> stop reacting. I'm Damn. not saying, but th I'm saying that's good. Hush. I will say it is for a movie that has not won yet. Right? Jessica knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, Ma! Nice. Josh, on that's you. a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I, like, I... Yeah, this, it's, it's actually kind of really cool seeing her. Like, if you watch the movie and now you're seeing this, you're like, wow. <laughs> I almost watched... Wait, Rachel, Chris, have you caught up yet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I almost watched um, Minari today, but I didn't. It's it's good. I watched uh, Sound of Metal and One Night in Miami today. Have y'all have y'all watched uh, Napoleon Dynamite? Oh, gosh, Tina! Uh, yeah, I've I've seen it. Um, I, I, so I, I compare Minari. Movie, I compare Minari to Napoleon Dynamite, only not as like weird and off the wall as Napoleon Dynamite. Doofy. Yeah, not yeah. That that's actually a perfect. Why term. do you not compare as it? Doofy. Like huh? add more, add more like evidence. Why do you say that? It's it, it it's a simple life. Like yes, this this is a Day movie based on yeah. I love yeah, movies a, that don't have like, not conflicts, but don't have like an antagonist. Because I'm all, like, 
because that's yeah. like the rewatchability of it. It's like I this don't have one, to feel yeah, stressed. Yeah, this one doesn't have, really have an antagonist. It's it is a day in the life, but yeah, it's good. I I liked Minari. Oh my god, guys, we are on. Uh, we're on the path right now, currently, to have all actors be people of color, and I am super fucking excited. Wait, about really? That. Oh, yeah, we have Riz. Oh, wait, no. So, so, uh, uh, actor and actress haven't been put up, but we've got Daniel Kaluuya and uh, uh, Yu Jung Young, uh, who won. And the majority of wait, the oh, director wait. was. Dude, direct, could, yeah, director yeah. was Chloe it could Zhao. Be a whole fucking sweep, guys. Oh, this is so going to be interesting. Funny. Yeah, and it'll be the first time in history that that's happened, and I'm yeah. so excited for that. Because best best actor. Oh like, my gosh, I did not comment on how great Brad Pitt looks. Sorry, uh, you, Brad, didn't, you didn't have to. It's fine. It goes without we got it. It goes without saying. If, if if you're if you're a woman who likes guys, we understand. I, no, <laughs> it's Brad Pitt. He's as old as my dad, and I'm. I feel still comfortable saying, if, "I would still." If you're, if you're, no, you're, no judgment here. No judgment at all. Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt is one of those people that, like, if you appreciate beauty of any kind, you can understand and knowingly just be like, "No, he's a beautiful man. It's totally yes. fine." I would say both me and my brother are like straight dudes, and we're like, "That's a good looking dude right there." Yeah. Don't speak for me. I wouldn't blink twice. Do you I'm not think you. that? It doesn't matter. Don't speak for me. Uh, hey Chris, just a random question here. How, how do you yeah. feel about Brad Pitt? Uh, he's a good looking dude. <laughs> okay, cool. Just checking. Uh, I think Sean what? needs to be a part of this channel a lot more. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's By all a matter. Of, it's all a matter of time. He's he's I, the he's the long forgotten Adam's brother. I think I he'll be. I keep forgetting that uh, I pulled up Sean's wiki page over here, and I keep looking over there and seeing him staring at me <laughs> on my laptop. Is it is it the picture of him where he's like... No, I, it's the one of me making a really dumb fucking face. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta look this up now. It's the worst oh yeah, fucking picture. Best actors uh, might be different. With Carey Mulligan or Francis McDormand. Yeah, the, 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 the family channel funny. nature of this video tonight is out the window, y'all. So, funny story about that, Rachel. What'd I do? Er, not you. Rachel in the chat. Errol. Errol L. Rachel. Oh. Her name's Rachel also. Uh, that's my middle name. And my middle name's Chris. Yeah, exactly. I'm wait, wait, you. really? Not really? <laughs> That's That'd awesome. be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, that is a, that is a funny image, Sean. <laughs> That's terrible. It's terrible. I'm gonna try to change it right now. You uh, look like someone who who wait, like no, I want to find you, it. You you placed an order at a restaurant and they brought you I'm like the angry. Exact yeah. opposite. Wasn't that the photo you took at the studio when you had your first match? Yeah, but like, there's better. There's the, here's the thing with that <laughs> photo. Like in that in that group of photos, there's like photos of me smiling. But no one ever uses those. They all use you, those. We're like, well, you, you can't like, smile anymore. You're on at least You, you at look least like you, you, you went to a restaurant. You went to a restaurant. You told the waiter that you're vegan. Sorry, Rachel. You okay. told the waiter that you're vegan, and they brought you nothing but a plate of meat. And that's your reaction. Is that <laughs> like? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's just, it's just it's just a head of sa it's just a head of lettuce. That's all it is. No dressing. There, for for, for nothing, those who want to like, know, the, there were the so many song. better pictures. At least you have an expression. Mine is like halfway between expressions and is awful. Like this is one of the worst there you photos go. Like, of all time. Like, like there you go. I don't like, I don't understand where that photo came from. Like, yeah, I tried to like send photos. And I'm someone that like takes like selfies pretty regularly. Like so I'm Excuse curious me, how sir. like I said I'm vegan. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it, it no, it's it's not as it's not as condescending as it should be. Um that's like a are you serious? Now I'm now I'm like going through all my photos to see which ones I can like send to you to like have them to put them up. I don't know if I know how to change the 
Can I, can I use one of the ones where I'm dressed as Ursula? Because I really like those. I would have never predicted this is where the Oscar watch along was going to go to. <laughs> Gotta be honest. No, well, no, I'm okay, back so from commercial it, break. Here's the thing. In all honesty, I knew that there's, unfortunately, like we are cine fanatics. We do love movies. But let's be honest. Ooh. There's I there's a couple of awards that we're, we're not going to know. We're not going to be... We're not going to be up on, and I figured this is where the conversation is going to go during those awards. What so. about Howie? She her hair is. Uh... That's what I, was, I said that earlier during like the red carpet stuff. I was like, "That's a haircut." Yeah, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's uh, certainly a haircut. I haven't seen it. Ooh. Who? Halle also, Barry. they just show, when they show the tenant people. Sean, Sean's face looks they, like, like what happens if he spends the opponent's <laughs> choice. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, in my division, opponent's choice doesn't really matter. It's true. Do you guys even hey, yeah. have opponent's choice? We do. Yeah, like, I, I was why. hoping hey. they wouldn't ask about this one movie, so I didn't really look at it at all. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, that's so, fair. So, so we have five of us. You know what would be even funnier? Oh, my gosh. Let's, let's add a sixth. Andres. Hey. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Let's that's going, perfect. Guys. That's perfect. Great question, timing. Andres. Are you watching the Oscars? Yes, uh, it's okay. right next to me right now, actually. Uh, Andres, actually, I have another question for you. Mm. Important question. Shoot, you're a you're a single man. Wait, is that Halle Berry? <laughs> oh yeah, God, do you Halle see Berry? her now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. Sean, are you gonna do this on our stream? I am. I'm gonna invite Andres. I don't know an <laughs> I don't know an air date, but Andres, I am I am hosting a show. Mm-hmm. And the show is called Show Me Naughty. Andra, stay away from her. I'm trying is, to win. Which uh, which award are we at now? Oh my gosh, that really is a haircut. <laughs> oh God! Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, that haircut. I like the stagger. Bangs No, it would be wow. like the bangs weren't at her hairline. By the way, Andres, right welcome welcome to five different conversations between six people all at the same time. Oh, I've been I've been listening to you guys for for like for like at least an hour so far, just catching up on everything. <laughs> <laughs> so so I okay, so, really so, so you know the rhythm of this tonight. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. We, we we don't wait for anybody else to speak at all about this, so it's totally fine. <laughs> God, what is she? What is she announcing? Can I pull this up? Production yes, design. I think they're just going around what? and talking to people. Ooh, Amanda. Oh, production oh, pr- design. Production design. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got uh, um, I've got Mank all day. Yeah, Mank. Mank has to go to that one. They recreated the, the 30s. Okay, that's so that's the thing. Uh, again, I haven't seen this movie. Okay. And... It's Guys, so good. Hold on real quick. It, it, and again, oh, so Jessica like, actually already knows the answer. Hold on real quick. I've got the perfect image for Halle Berry here. <laughs> no, no, no. The, bang, the bangs are too long. <laughs> yes, yeah, so why are they like to hear? It's so strange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got her on screen at the same time, too. Yeah, that's about accurate. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Like, uh, hey, Andre. Sorry, it Halle Berry. Perfectly, it perfectly lines up with like her her chin, like like. It's not it? even her chin. It's it's like, like her jawline, she, yeah. but like above it. Yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. Right. her jawline. It's like right right in the place where like uh, mm-hmm. makeup artists would put like uh like highlighter or not highlighter uh like bronzer, like just yeah. to get like the cut. It's so, awful. Why? So when like, women I go and get haircut, short, when, but not women, like angular. Yeah. Yeah, when women get haircuts, do, do, do you tell the stylist, uh, I would like my hair chin length? Is that a thing? Yeah. I've said I've that. Done that. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I've done that. My hair currently is chin length. I know. And I, I, it's just yeah. all... Sean, your chin is currently hair length. <laughs> well, that, tr- that too. Um, <laughs> Errol uh, Andres, Al. Rachel, you know, um, September 5th Sean, is I, your I, birthday. I definitely, I definitely do want to get to what you were going to ask me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm hosting a show. I'm hosting a wonderful show called Show Me Naughty. Just say yes. Uh, we have a wonderful bachelorette looking for love. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Sean, this, be this, a, this is not many, the Pajukan channel, so be careful with this. How many episodes are you doing? Uh, it depends how many I can milk it for. <laughs> <laughs> like, will you be doing like different contestants? Yes, uh, if we can find one, yeah, system. absolutely. Can, can we can we rephrase that question? Because that just yeah. makes me feel uncomfortable. How long and I can milk it for? <laughs> no, 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 well, that, that one and, and Jess's. How many contestants are you doing? 
Um, oh, I just mean like how I don't I don't know how no, I, I know. Yeah, Rachel, <laughs> I think I think she means it, will we be doing other bachelors or bachelorettes once we find you love? You still need to rephrase oh. that. It's still yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how many? How many? Wait, are you asking oh my how gosh. many are going to be participating? John's wiki page is still up on my laptop. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I have, on, I I have Andres is is up right now. All the freaking contestants. That's blowing Oh, right I was wrong on this. Okay. Uh, you're a you're ahead. Which one did okay. you just do? So, Cinematography. I really oh, don't like God, it, Halle Berry's haircut. Okay. Anyways, on that note, I do have to run because I have to go to the other show now. Uh, um. What other show? So, Andres. Yes. No, you got to answer his question before he leaves. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, he look. Yeah. He, Andres is a friend of the Pajukin. He'll. I'll do you know, it. He, yeah, why not? Yeah, he'll do it. The answer's yes. The answer's yes. <laughs> we already had Chris Andres. Clark on a dating show. I'm sure Andres won't mind. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what have you got to lose? To be to so, be fair, Chris Chris at the bar really high. Yeah. For people for, who have yeah. participated and gotten kicked off. Oh wow. Yeah, Chris yeah. was our first eliminated contestant. Um, he will Maybe not be finding he love. Maybe to wear wolf skin and uh, <laughs> oh, to let him. No, not be. you need to do it like uh, like Bachelor and Bachelorette, and Chris Clark is the one that comes back for I, the Bachelor. I think. Uh, look, I can't say anything. I can't uh, say that our newly single host may Chris. pop on the show. Uh, I, you know, I can't reveal much. Uh, okay. To be fair, we don't know a lot. <laughs> We don't know a lot. We kind of do it by the seat of our pants. Basically, to sum this up is, Rachel, expect Andres over here to also be hitting on you in the near future. Hey, I will tell you. Really? He is on. He's on my list. He is on the list. He has a list. Holy crap. That's not a list. That's a group of post-it notes. This is three (laughs) post-its with 40 names on it of people I'd like on the show. It looks to be written on any... Oh my god! Just well, as you think, no matter what, we're off Rachel. Remember? That's true. We did. Yeah. So what you're trying did to say is be, be, because of your post notes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's that's interesting. Because, because oh, of your post notes, we, we that, that show was brought to you by Romeo Michelle. Correct. Correct. Robert Adams, I will tell you, you were number two on the list, though. Fun fact. I feel I feel like you should ask Rachel who was number one and who was number two. Who I, I mean to be fair, I wasn't the one that started the list. I started mm-hmm. the idea oh. that was hey, look, very loosely based the Heights trailers uh, on this. Um, oh, good Rachel, Lord. you know who's number one on the list? Do I? In the, you said in the Heights trailer. He's someone you emphatically told me you have you would have no future with. But oh, that you're right, great right, right. friends. Yes. yes. This is like this. This is starting to turn into the sh- uh, show me naughty behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, by the way, of, I got. By the, by the way, I got a new chair. I, I know. I Chris need, told us. I need, I need Amanda Zickery's uh, dress. A, it right. looks like so much fun to twirl in, and B, that cleavage is amazing. I yeah. got run. Yeah. Jess, it was I, nice I, to I meet you. Want to say anything. Everyone nice else, I wasn't going to yeah. comment. Have fun. <laughs> See you later, dude. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, Bye Sean. <laughs> I, I I wasn't gonna comment, Rachel, but she is definitely wearing that dress. Dude, that yeah, that she, that dress was like good for her. Wait, oh, which, so which, uh, this is new in the Heights trailer. Andres, yep. were you working on this like five minutes ago? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no. Andres comment. works on trailers. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't remember. Actually. So is this a Broadway show that got yes. turned into? Yeah. It was it was yeah. Lindsay Wells' first show on Broadway. Okay, I'm, I'm really excited for this. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I actually really want to see this. I have my giant sloth. Oh, that looked kind of cool. <laughs> the giant sloth. In case y'all want size proportions <laughs> <laughs> it's like almost as large as me it's your friend at the end although my it's not my favorite my favorite one's the one that's medium sized because it has velcro hands and i sometimes will just velcro it to my neck and just like have it hug me so that i feel cuddled <laughs> <laughs> that is genius <laughs> um oh man this is gonna be so good is that 
Is that Dr. Dre? Huh? Oh, yeah, Corey Hawkins. That's Corey Hawkins, right? Yes. Oh. I love how you haven't watched Straight Out of Compton, but you know who I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Schmodown. Yes, I study movies. <laughs> study sessions. Good job, sir. Uh, this looks good. Uh, so I will I will go on record here for this live stream. In the Heights looks better than the Steven Spielberg remake of West Side Story, and I'm down for the West Side Story. So uh, I'm down for anything that Lin Manuel Miranda does. Yeah, as 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 a person of Latino descent, I am so excited for In the Heights for multiple reasons. So I I, I love I have musicals. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, no, absolutely. If also, there Anthony was, Ramos. It, so what was your opinion on um, the prom? Hmm? What about the prom? The musical. Yeah, what about a lot it? Of people hated it. I was curious. There was a, there was a <laughs> musical um, called The Prom. It's because the uh, the Broadway show was so. Is it, is it called Prom or The Prom? Now I'm not the sure. Prom. Well, I hadn't heard yeah. of it, but if you bring it it's to my Netflix. attention, I look into it, and then I might well actually watch it. The Broadway uh, show. This is not a recommendation. No, no, oh, no. It's included. It's included in Point the release and musicals. But the Broadway show was so good and so powerful. Um, and then they just, when they did the movie, they just screwed up with casting and they changed um, some of the storylines for some of the characters, and it really, really upset people because oh. it it turned the story into something that it wasn't. Um, and so that was the issue that a lot of people in the music or in the uh, theater industry uh, had for, had against the movie. So I just said, I liked it when they weren't talking. I enjoyed all the songs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I mean, everything except for James Corden was pretty fantastic. I don't know of like any any musical that James Corden has been a part of that I have actually liked, and I know what that means. <laughs> I know exactly what that means when you talk no, about certain into musical the movies, like Into the Woods. Yeah, well, I was not a big fan of Into the Woods. First of all, Harrison Ford. First of all, if anybody has seen the '70s stage version of Into the Woods with Bernadette Peters, nothing will ever top that version. Ever. I don't the, think the, the it version, would. Yeah, it's so fantastic. And then Do... the movie, like, like they had. First of all, they had James Corden. Second of all, they had uh, Meryl Streep. Which stop Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep and musicals, please. I'm begging you, begging you. Oh yeah, between that. Okay, that when y'all get to Mama Mia, <laughs> Harrison Ford. I'm sorry, this is like very interesting. Wait, what are you talking about, Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford's on the Oscars that we're watching. Yeah. <laughs> did, 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 another, did another airplane crash? I don't know what you're talking about. Too wow. soon. <laughs> really? No, I'm kidding. I think he's reading off negative comments about Blade Runner, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> <gasps> Sean Lee's right when a Star Wars actor comes on the show. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, do we consider Begin Again? A musical, it's got music in it, but I don't know no. if that's considered a musical. No, a musical again. is where any capacity. characters break into song and the songs help either try the story I've or tried to watch Blade, Blade Runner or um, give it another movies. shot. Yeah, um, so yeah, like, so I was gonna say, it, 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 it I was gonna say about, James Corden it, was in that, and uh, it took it me was, about yeah. all right, it took me. Stop it. So James <laughs> Corden was was in Begin Again. And I really like that movie. Okay, now you go. It took me about probably about five times to get through uh, Blade Runner, the original. Yeah. Really? It's one of the few movies that has a character with my name that isn't a complete and utter C word. Mm. Oh, wow. Thanks, <laughs> Rachel. You're what? Is it? Yeah, I censor myself. The first you, Rachel though. I think of is Rachel Berry, and she also. It's not a movie character, but right. Whoa! Oh, with Harrison Ford. What's going on? <laughs> we got to use Vangelis. That's is awesome. 
Is he still with uh, what's her face from uh, yeah, Calista Flockhart? The Flockhart yes, the Flockhart. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought so they split up a while ago. She's like, like I don't like, like I'm. Well, he's like, like, here's a gorgeous of Flockhart. my name. <laughs> her body shape like scares me. Like I just feel like I need to force feed her things. She oh, she fluctuates so between thin. like nice and healthy to ah. It was like, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, she was always like super thin, and I had a friend who like had a crazy high metabolism, but like legitimately could not gain weight. Mm -hmm. But like, she went from that skinny to like oh. skeletal real quick. Mm -hmm. oh, I see that. They not the winner. <laughs> film. So he's talking about film editing. Yeah. As they continuously cut around him right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, editing. Editing. Way to point that out. <laughs> Father Nomad promising a woman sound of metal or Father Child. Nomad Land prom yeah. I would, what, what was, uh, I'll, 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 I would give, no, I'm, I'm 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 gonna give film editing to the father. I'm I can see that based on what you said. Yeah, based uh, so what they had to do <laughs> in the father again, it's Anthony Hopkins portraying a man with dementia. And they put you into the movie because of the editing. It's monologue. It's not going to make sense uh, if it's not the father. I, 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 I can't see it going to any others other than the father. I can see it going well, to uh, no Sound of Metal. I break to you. Sound of Metal was, was pretty One dangerous. of you is correct. Wait, yeah. Sound of Metal wasn't one of them, though, right? Yeah, it was. No, Sound of Metal, Sound of Metal was in there. I thought it was Trial of Chicago 7. It's in there, too. Yeah. Edit... Wait, how many? Okay. Ah, all right. In this. <laughs> oh wow. Was it Sound of Metal? Because Sound of Metal uh, did a freaking amazing job. So, so yeah. real, quick, like, real, real, real quick, Andres, are you watching it on a stream? Or are you watching it like on live TV? I'm technically it's on a stream, but it is live TV though. Uh, I'm watching it on the ABC website. Okay, yeah. you're, watching, you're watching with us. So out yeah. of the like five, of, us, five of us right now, Jessica is watching it on live TV, so therefore she's ahead of the rest of us. She sees uh. the winner before we <laughs> even know who the nominations are. You know what, brother? You should hit refresh and see if you end up matching me. Now that we're can, so more than halfway through. And join us. Yeah, so that, I, I'll do it. So Jess can be the only one that's ahead. That was editing, right? Yeah, yeah. I loved how when they announced uh, or like said for nominations, sound of metal, the people are like this. this like this guy looks like Bill yeah. Pax. The ASL applause. Oh, they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Does this, this does this guy look like Bill Pax to any? He adult? does. Yeah. Yeah, he looks a lot. Like, oh wait, I see it now. It took me. Like, yeah. He looks like Bill Paxton's like Norwegian cousin. <laughs> looks like he's friends with that uh, Hugh Grant guy that we saw earlier. <laughs> oh, with the the Hugh Bean. The Hugh Bean, yeah. Hugh Bean. <laughs> <laughs> One guy looked like a, a Andres. A guy looked like a cross between Hugh uh, Hugh Grant, Grant and Sean Bean. <laughs> well, Sean Grant isn't as fun as Hugh Bean. Yeah. <laughs> Because this oh, sounds like yeah, huge yeah. bean. Such a huge <laughs> bean. What a, what a bean. That's like something you should talk to your doctor about. Right. Uh, exactly. <laughs> what are you coming in for today? Well, I got Doc. I got a huge bean. Don't Just know what one. to tell you. Just yeah, one. Need to see one. One's huge one's bean. bigger than the other. Beans. The other bean is the appropriate size of five feet. Wow. He went there. <laughs> of course he was going to go there, Chris. Of course. Dude, I'm doing pretty good. I got editing, sound, visual effects, production design, uh, hair and makeup, costume design. Yeah. Um, I predict well, next year Fast and Furious effect? takes everything. <laughs> sure, but but Rachel, who who got who got visual effects? I missed that. Visual effects was Tenant. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was hearing that one right when I was logging in. Yeah. That was yeah. Like, good lord. Her hair is fantastic. I'm still looking at Bill Paxton. I oh. have to get the rest of them right to do better than I did last year. <laughs> I don't know. But it's all like the big awards, right? 
Uh, your we best, got, no, your we best shot. Have, we still have original song and original Born score. Oh, yeah, we're not quite done yet. Right back. I find it. I find it really like. I thought cinematography was a lock. I'm surprised. I know. Me too. Thank. Well, I guess not. I mean, that wins cinematography. I put make no, one for cinematography. But I mean, but, I mean, but it's but not like Nick did win. No, no, Nick we won. said we we thought that No Man Land would win. Oh, oh, gotcha. Hmm. Oh, okay. I got that. I mean, there's nothing like. Oh yes, my god! Great. So <laughs> Wait, side yeah. side note: there was a uh, moment just when you leaned forward just now, and I was like, Linda Cardellini. Oh, I could see that. Mm-hmm. Like who I look like? Like yeah. like like Linda Cardellini. I've I've like thought about that ER too. Era. I've been getting so many comments about people I look like, and I'm like, I'm just a white girl that has eyebrows and brown hair. And then I think, like, someone said a younger version of Jennifer Connelly, and I was like, I have brown eyes. But yeah, I can, I can kind of see that too. Not as much as the other ones, but. Then I saw Chris, Kristen Milioti. Someone commented that. Kristen Milioti. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone from commented Lily from Collins. Home. I, that, that that's that that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh my god! Ari- and then people say Ari- they don't say Maisie Williams; they say Arya Stark. Yeah, <laughs> that that <laughs> is correct. Like, you don't look like the actress; you just look like the character. I'm like, oh, the character who can like pass as a they boy, which is <laughs> a special on Tyler Perry in the middle of the fucking Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. Only if you promise an honorary Medina movies. I'm mean, studying for those. I, I, I mean, I mean, the thing is, like, he can make a good movie. Like, I love Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Like, that yeah. was freaking fantastic. He has it in him if he tries. For the girls is so good. Yes, it's yes. so good. Yes. I mean, even Daddy's Little Girls like is really sweet. But mm-hmm. like, please, I'm begging you, Medea doesn't get any more movies. Like, just stop it. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly, just don't like, respond like, well to any type of, movies, like comedic, um, like m- comedians dressing up as like different characters. Have you not seen the original you know, uh, uh, Nutty Professor? I think I have, like when I was young, where quality didn't matter to me at all. <laughs> <gasps> no, no, the Ooh. original, not the Eddie Murphy one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you gotta, it is yeah, so Lewis. good. But 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 the thing but the thing is with that movie, it, it did this all conversation. Of itself, there was multiple characters. It was like, <laughs> like oh, I oh, the original that was so good. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, and I'm blanking. Garth Murray, I see you in the coming comments to, right now. You are correct. <laughs> coming to America, like I didn't love the parts where like he was different people. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So you, you just don't like it when people do like makeup to that effect and portray <laughs> you know you know what i'm talking about when that's like the main character but he's also like circulis, four circulis. Other different people. yeah <laughs> does um, it just take you out of the movie is that what it does I just, do you ever, do you don't think it's funny oh. yeah because the main character or the other main character gwen paltrow's character actually oh. like yeah i don't mean that i mean like in the big fat suit and like yeah Love that movie. Like yeah. um, what it? like a movie oh, I hated that Netflix movie. Award. Um, I think it was Sex Tuplets. Hated that movie. Tyler Perry. That was not six feet apart. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look at her. Would you be six feet apart from her? Hell, fucking no. I'll hug up on that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What's that when he stood up and like? Gave the Hollywood kiss to the person oh, he was passing by. <laughs> like the velvet or whatever. Uh, the, I'm impressed by Tyler Perry on how well he grows facial hair in between having to shave it all off to p- play an older woman. I feel like he just like thinks about having a beard and then it just like magically appears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's looking pretty dapper. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, who knows? I mean, uh, um, I see Jeremy's comment right here, where it's like, "This is the closest he will come to winning an Oscar." I was like, "I mean, 
Back in 2014, like, wasn't there a big push for him to get nominated for, like, Best Supporting for uh, Gone Girl? I mean, yeah. He's yeah. been in some really good movies. It's just, I think that he has yeah. it in him. I think he just got his start with the Medea movies, and they were just so bad, but so, like, they were so, they were so trashed on by reviewers and critics, but, like, people went to see them in droves, and so he, like, yeah. just used that very smartly as a stepping stone to, like, get where he is and now he literally has his own studios in atlanta and like employs like half of the town's worth of people like good for him yeah no absolutely he's doing he, who, who knows he might be back in like in like like five or six years or even four years or ten years he yeah. he will be I, I i have a feeling he will be back at some point there's no way he's not going to I, yeah i think he, i think for sure he's got like an like an oscar oh sand and no in him Mm -hmm. Like I feel like it's there. I just feel like we're just not there yet. He hasn't mm -hmm. found the story to tell yet, because he really does tell really great stories. Like what at the heart of them, the Medea is like the Medea movies like have a good story. It just gets like compounded with like antics and bullshit. Ooh, Zendaya's coming up. Ooh. She always looks so beautiful. You've got my full attention. <laughs> you are coming now. Attention. <laughs> Oh I'm gonna come God. in there with a spray bottle and spray you down. She's so sweet. I do like Zendaya. I like Zendaya. She's got I, that like sweet sassy Zendaya's, thing about her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw a video oh, like, between her see? and um, why am I blanking on the girl who plays her younger sister in Euphoria? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I know. On her, her her name. Storm Reed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the, their relationship's very cute. She's that, like an older sister in real life. That movie, uh, The Greatest Showman, was Zendaya as she's like swinging up on the trapeze, looking at Zac Efron. And she's like, "Yeah, yeah." I'm like, <laughs> melt. Me too. <laughs> Did you grasp your pearls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did that when Zac Efron's on too. It's fine. Um, yes. oh. I didn't do it for Zac Efron <laughs> just for full transparency. <laughs> uh, real quick, been, yeah. Everybody watching, thank you so much. We got twelve people here right now. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, tuning in and hanging out with us. If y'all want to uh, shoot any comments up to the Streamlabs, that would be super helpful for us. We would really appreciate it. Streamlabs.com/slash Cinefanatics. I guess we could put it in the chat too. Yeah, and Maybe. spread the word and retweet. Maybe we can put it in the chat. I heard YouTube's been kind of introduce a, a new sloth item with every stream lens. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. Send a stream left so we get a new sloth on the screen. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm just waiting for Jess to make the he's right behind me, isn't he? Joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I it was on backstage and everyone kept being like, it's creeping me out. And like why is it there? And I'm like, it's just there. Like, stop it. Why is it there? It's like it's staring at us. <laughs> You're like, are you feeling guilty? Are you be feeling guilty? Ugh, these car ads. I wonder if I can. Like, uh, honestly, I, like I've been on for like maybe like what about like thirty minutes or so, and like every time I stare at the screen, all I feel like is I stare at Harrison Ford, and I stare back at you guys. I'm like, car ad. You guys, car ad. I'm like, <laughs> it's pretty there. Much. You go. Garth has blessed us with the link, and I have pinned it. So please yes. bless us with the Streamlabs <laughs> question or comment or. Let's you get think, more slots on this stream. You think you pinned it, huh? Did you All pin right. it too? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this might come as a surprise. There's two of us that run this channel, and we That's both have BS. equal ability to do stuff on this channel so it's bs you edit the videos and i do all the social media yeah that's pretty much how so yeah behind Guys, the scenes I, I have a legit question um for original song how badly do you want uh eurovision to win original song <laughs> what's the original it's not what song? i picked but I, I, I would be I, very I happy. Oh, no, I, oh I, my goodness. I I'm desperately sorry. want Eurovision to win, Send and it. I desperately want Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell to just show up and sing the song to each other while like while they're standing upstage while they're like the, the people what? are giving their gift. Like, Wait, oh what are we God, talking God. about? Best song. I'm, oh, just, oh, oh, yeah. I'm just in awe of Zendaya. Who's Oh. 
Oh, is she back yet? For score, I would love to see. Um, oh, score. Atticus. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want? Do you want to see them win for Mank or Soul? Because they're nominated. No. I want to see Bold. Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross lose to Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want to see. Which, so here's the thing. Want I, I, I want to see Trent Reznor win for Soul because Wait, I was right. <laughs> okay. So Trent Reznor wins. <laughs> Wait a so all, Trent, all, so all just, I see right now is a freaking car ad again. <laughs> yeah. So again, Jessica's watching this on live TV while the rest oh, of us I'm are sorry. watching on streaming. <laughs> so she sees the winner before the rest of us do. So we know that Trent Reznor is going to win for best score. Now it's just a matter of is it Soul or is it Mank? It's got to be Soul. It has to like, be Soul. Oh, good okay, lord. One extra but it's Ooh, one extra Zendaya. person is within soul and then I'm sorry, you know. Zendaya is gorgeous. I know, yeah. I was in awe. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, like it's a surprise. God, oh, I, I can not like her dress up. I like like she's, she's right. some, like she's some garden troll that just like shows up. <laughs> <laughs> She can just show up whenever she wants. Shut like, up. She <laughs> so, and she, no, she's so beautiful. Good for her. Good for your genetics. Not a big fan of the necklaces, but... Hmm. I'm, now I'm going okay. to try to... Okay, you. yes. So again, what? they might give it away for those of y'all who are not caught up with me. <laughs> I don't know how far behind Andres is. Oh no, they are they're hugging right now. They just won. Okay. So yeah, apparently cool. Rachel and my brother are We just got it. It's, it's cool. yeah. Cool. They're at the same so time, but they're they're one, behind us. John would have had to just be like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty like, much, oh, yeah. It's like we the other, work the other you, two but... get up. Yeah. The other two Honestly, get up like... and he just sits there like, meh. If only they said soul. You're like, He's good. making the speech completely. Like, Trent good Rester job, guys. I did, I, did like the, I did like the score for Mank, but I feel like a lot of the things that worked really well in that score actually carried over into soul quite a bit. Yeah. Because it both still had like that sort of very jazzy sort of I mean, it, So, yeah. The score of soul is what made me cry. Like, yeah. yeah, with the yeah. like, that's what did it, and that doesn't always. The can't, score can't. of soul has such emotion, like just it, it's just dripping out of your TV. Like that's all. Can, yeah. can, your TV can we point out? You can we point out though? Because I'm pretty sure everyone else has, but I would point out that one of the winners is also the guy that wrote the song "I Want Up You Like an Animal." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. He's also a very nice man. <laughs> Oh, I, I bet. Say, I was going to say, Trent, Rez Trent Reznor looks kind. like... He looks exact. Goodness. He looks exactly like uh, who he is. He looks like a rocker, like someone who like, does like solid rock music who's just forced to dress up and go to the Oscars. He looks, <laughs> yeah. so, uncomfortable. He looks so uncomfortable in something that is buttoned up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he he's already won an Oscar before. He should know what... What the deal is by this point, but he just he just kind of looks like he's just ready to leave at any point in time. Why would why would he break his style just for an award show? Yeah, he's only in that. He said, "Much and love, much light. Him, yeah. I love you, even if I don't know you." <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. I wonder how much that necklace costs. That, a um, lot, <laughs> like so much that it's not hers. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably Ooh. renting it. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, Zendaya's necklace. Yeah. Hold up. Are the people from in Sweden the Husevik? That'd be amazing. Yeah, Husevik. I hear music. Is that one of y'all's backgrounds, or are they actually trying to play them off now? They're playing like bits of them, I think. Oh, that's that's Jess. They're already they're already ahead. They're they're onto original song. 
Oh, okay. I have no no clue at this point. <laughs> oh, I don't know this one. Yeah, there was one from uh, a foreign film called La Vita de Vita uh, Davinit uh, Asi, just like The Life You Live or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's called Lo C or IOC. Best, best song. Sweet I need to watch. Right? Oh, see, her, here's, neck, here, her, her necklace is cool. See, here's my issue with original song is I feel like the song should be in the movie and not played during the trailer. Hmm. Like, not played like, 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 like uh, actually in the film, not during the end credits or anything like that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's part part of the movie part and not just like inspired by like that. Like, it doesn't have to be like performed in it, but like it has to be played during the movie. Yeah, it should be what it should you, be a part of the soundtrack, like part of one of the scenes. Like so, so, it is like so so just for clarification, how would you feel about um how do you feel about where Eminem's uh plays? Oh that is a hundred percent an original song. Okay. Eminem's what? But, but, lose, lose yourself. yourself. Oh yeah. Because, because, but, but I'm just saying well, for clarification because, it's like, okay, like it's in the movie, but it's technically still at the end of the credits. But it's still like he's, a really important part of the film. But that one is because he's writing that song in the movie. I'm and happy, it, but it, no, I don't get it right. It, it, it's not right. completed until the end credits. I love, I and love also, that angle with that. But also the oh, music, okay. the music of it is in the movie. Yeah, Ooh, I love that mm-hmm. outfit. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, like while he's on the bus and he's writing out the yeah. lyrics in his notebook, it's, you it's, hear yeah. the you hear the beat going it's on. Played multiple I completely times forgot that about that. Yeah. yeah. God, I love I mean, Eight Mile. That's, I, mean, I, I haven't I have watched a, it in so long. I don't have a pick here. I think maybe Fight okay, I'll turn gonna down win my or Speak <laughs> Now. Probably Speak Now, but I really want Husevic. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, win. this has got to be Speak I Now, win. right? I really want Husevic to win. <laughs> this is best original song. Yeah, just just because the rest of it has been so emotionally heavy, like I feel like we need something to laugh about, and I want I want Eurovision song <laughs> contest to win a fucking Oscar. <laughs> right. Hilarious. All right, Rachel, let's hope. Let's hope. I want it. So Wait, which one? Was- oh, okay. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Right. Is it speak now? My reaction no, makes sense to me. what it was. No, I, I just heard who the winner is. I know. Hold on. We're getting there. Just so it ma- it makes yeah. sense with what I was saying earlier. Just a second. Yeah. What were you... Makes... Sorry. What did you say? Fight for you. Probably. Okay. It is fight for you, yeah. And the, like, it's it's got to be one of those with, two. With, with, with what I was saying earlier, is I saw like the pre-Oscar mm-hmm. show was her like drumming while singing. That's not easy to do. No, it's not easy to drum and sing. And I was like, you don't even see. I love her Phil Collins, music. Who's one of the best drummers mm-hmm. ever. You, you don't, don't see, see Phil, Dave Phil Grohl Collins drumming it. and singing at the same time. <laughs> hey, you don't see Dave Grohl drumming for you know, the Food Fighters while you know he's singing. who does it? That's uh, another good Nick one. Jonas. Nick Jonas plays the drums. Did you really bring the Jonas brothers. brothers in this? <laughs> of course <laughs> I did. It's my era. <laughs> it's what she does, and I love her for it. <laughs> when, we're, when we're talking about movies and actors or TV shows or like music she's always like i've never heard that i'm like i <laughs> want to play all of my childhood for you <laughs> <laughs> also can you teach me about all of the things i missed in the last decade thank you <laughs> yeah like have any of you guys seen high school musical like any of them no yeah i have yep yeah i did andres you're not supposed to admit that <laughs> andres you do realize it, right? You do realize Robert. the camera's Ooh. on and you're live, right? <laughs> hey, there's no shame in that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, get your head in the game, jeez. Stop it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was the, the we can work this out, it. okay? We See, can- I was like, well, I was I was going to watch them and then <laughs> I ended up on tour with Beauty and the Beast and there's a line that Mrs. Potts says about 30 minutes into the first act and she literally holds 
uh, Cogsworth, or okay, she wait, what is happening right goes, now? I'm sorry. She goes, we're all in this together. And I had to actively not listen to that part of the scene because otherwise I would have been dancing around the lobby going, we're all in this together. Like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I knew that dance. Like, I watched the dance along, you know, that they aired where they showed you the steps. I learned all of that. I don't no, remember like, as well they, as the they, Hoedown they Throwdown a, from the Hannah Montana they, movie. They had but... a, wait, they had a video showing and teaching the choreography? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're you're like, so, you, your generation's so fucking spoiled. Right. You know, like, you, times I watched this, Janet Jackson then, music then, videos huh. that I waited on MTV to record onto VHS yes. and then would rewind them to learn the eight counts? Oh, my God. So <laughs> many on? hours. So many ruined tapes. <laughs> And, and, and the other thing that people want to go is like, oh, well, you could have just rewatched it as many times as you can. No, you only had a no. finite amount of times to watch it before it just got all scratchy with the VHS. <sighs> I've literally broken a tape. It got worn so thin. Mm -hmm. That was, I think that was Rhythm Nation. Purple Rain. Oh, yeah. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Ah, so my phone keeps falling. What's happening with like Purple Rain? Little Rel over here. <laughs> he's gonna start seeing Purple Rain is what he's doing. Yeah, Wait, there. Stop it. Stop I kind it. of miss like award shows when they would like do jokes. Yeah, when like, there was a host. Like, yeah, yeah <laughs> like we've really, really gotten that. So, so what would you guys say is off the top of your head? Your one of your favorite um previous Oscar hosts off the top of your head. Billy, Billy, Billy Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. Billy you Crystal, can't yeah. talk you can't talk Billy Crystal. I mean you can. No. They I just will, wouldn't well, allow Robin Williams have a host. Seen. Uh, oh Hugh, 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 Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman was pretty good. That's what I was about to say. Hugh Jackman is actually my favorite one out of the bunch. Hugh Jackman hosting the Tony's though. Previous. Oh, Chris Rock. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah. give you that. All right. All right, Rachel. Hugh, you Jackman, right there. Hugh Jackman and Neil Patrick Harris going back and forth on the Tony's yeah. was probably one of the oh, best bits no. they ever had. Uh, yeah. Neil, Neil Patrick Harris for the Oscars only because uh, when um, oh what's his name? Who am I thinking of, Chris? I don't know. Drummer? Uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. When J.K. Simmons won the Oscar and it cut back to Neil Patrick Harris and he's like so much for commercials. Dun, 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 dun. And I was like, that's great. <laughs> Wait, I guess it's weird. I'm looking back at this. I'm like, I don't remember any of these. Like, wait, Jeremy's like, I think I remember Chris Rock, Rock but Chris funny. Rock was a great host too. Yeah. Um, I mean, Gervais did a pretty fucking funny job. Like he hosted the Oscars. I thought he only did the Globes. Oh, yeah. Did Gervais host? usually yeah. only does the Globes. Oh, that's yeah. did he do the Oscars? They let him do anything I think, serious. I don't think they let him do the Oscars. No, 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 no. Yeah, what, maybe I'm thinking of not after last year. Hell no. <laughs> uh, Ger Gervais has too much of a political leaning towards One Direction for uh, not the band, but towards, <laughs> one, <laughs> towards one Direction for uh, for the Academy to be okay with him hosting. I mean, then again, we can't speak for his musical taste, so he might be a very big he One might, Direction fan. You never he know. He might be a big Harry Styles fan. Who the f Wait, knows? Did, am I am I imagining this, or did uh oh my god, Amy Poehler and what's her face, Tina Fey mm -hmm. host? That, yes, that was they did go. Yeah, they should have done the. They should have done. They the, did it for a few years. They did the I'm Oscars. Sure. Mm -hmm. I thought they did. Yeah, I thought they did the, they Oscars. Did the Oscars. Yeah. I don't watch the Golden Globes. It makes me sad. Uh, here's the thing. The I, want, I want. Uh, Poor Colin Jimmy Joseph Kimmel about, about. I want Colin Jimmy Joseph Kimmel and Michael Che to host. Who? Colin Jost and Michael Che. I want them to host the Oscars at some oh, point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, who? It tur turn the Oscars into Colin, like, the weekend. Colin Jost update. and Michael Che. Oh. I mean, yeah. if we're going to do, if we're going to do SNL people hosting. Like you have to do every iteration of weekend news mm -hmm. hosting throughout the entire show, or as much as with, possible, with the yeah. exception of maybe Chevy Chase. <laughs> yeah, we we could get rid of that. <laughs> Glenn Close looks like she's having an awesome time. So happy for her. 
She's Gwen getting Close some is, like, laughs out. in her sparkles and she's got her gloves on and somebody just handed her a mic. Like, yeah. <laughs> Glenn Close looks like how I'm about to feel after my third glass. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sparkly and gloved? I'm very confused. What is he drinking? Is it going to inspire a costume change? <laughs> Could y'all hear him laughing on my mic? You know what? Next year, Chris, we got we to gotta do this, but we have to like have scheduled costume changes. Right. <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to dress like, do people do? I was like, not sure. I've got no, would, heavy would, pants and like a decently nice shirt on because I was like, mm, it's the Oscars. I would love to do like some kind of like official like dress up nice for the stream. Do something like super serious, but there was just no time or patience I for that we, this year. We, I, I think we did that. We talked about doing that last year. Yeah. Um, yeah. By the uh, way, I walk away. I can still hear y'all in my earbuds. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm up to date on the conversation. Ooh, get a girl, get it, Glenn. Yeah. Go, Glenn. <laughs> oh, Go, Glenn. Glenn is a timeless Enjoy gangster. It. Give that woman an Oscar. Oh, I, think I love they did. her so much. <laughs> or they oh, didn't. I think just... that was the conversation earlier. Yeah, they haven't yet. Oh man, yeah, no, she definitely looks like she's the best. Oh, she's just like, I can't believe I just did that. I know she just covered her face. It's like, no, girl, own it. You're good. She's (laughs) the best. Oh, she's so cute. Wait, what? There you go. He's he's directing a movie. Tuxedos for a James Bond movie. Watch along. Oh, I remember. I wanted. Oh, oh, hold up. Questlove is directing a movie. Oh, yes. Oh. Shut up. <gasps> Fucking A, Quest Love. Okay, I'm oh, what's, what's he doing? Oh, he's doing a documentary. Uh, yeah. Yes. Summer of Soul. Mm-hmm. You've got my full attention. Andres, were you working on that too? I don't remember. <laughs> A quest love, uh, John. I don't, I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Is anybody watching this in Dad right yeah, now? Yeah, we, we watched oh, it horse. earlier. I've I've already pined over it. Oof. Zendaya oh. on a horse. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I love the gym, the gear. Most good about him, like, convincing the the um different celebrities to take a tequila shot with him. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not very COVID friendly now, I suppose. Sad. Because <laughs> they like all drink from like the same thing. Wait, Guillermo del Toro got people to take shots of No, um, Jimmy Kimmel. From, uh, oh, don't care. Yeah, yeah Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Whatever. But, but yeah, speak, so how much of that horse about, riding was horse. actually Zendaya? What was it? I don't care. So how much <laughs> of that horse riding was actually Zendaya or was it like a stunt horse rider? Yeah, it was, or is the horse real? <laughs> Yeah, she's everything's on. in question now. They Nothing's they film they film Zendaya riding the uh, the hey. the mechanical bull at Saddle Ranch, and they just <laughs> edited out the mechanical bull. <laughs> they, just, they, just put her, they just covered the bull in green felt. <laughs> yeah, put her on top, <laughs> shot her from a whole bunch of different angles, and then left. I'm um, never against the Jeff Goldblum commercial. <laughs> oh no, uh, uh, never. Oh, speaking of which, there's Jimmy. I love how he's like doing a commercial across the street from the Dolby Theater. Like, man, how hard for you to take five steps? I mean, I, I will, I will say this. <laughs> that's probably. I think that's his theater right there that he's standing. The one, in front the of. one that's yeah. across the street from the Dolby. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think that that's his. That he's literally just nah, like shooting around the well, column from. Not. Yeah, not the. Cool. Not the El Capitan. Because the El Capitan um, is right across the street from the Dolby. Yep. Is it? No. Oh. It's. It's been a while since I've been it's, on. It's Hollywood right. It, it's right next door to the El Capitan. Yeah. Yeah, it is right next door. I was like, tell Rachel who's <laughs> lived in L.A. <laughs> <Who's this? laughs> I remember Landmark. that. Oh, Angela. that you know of since you live in Austin. I mean, to be fair, you've probably been down there way more times oh, than I have. Oh, Lord. Like nobody in LA like drives down Hollywood Boulevard unless it's absolutely necessary. I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. <laughs> like like Riley's apartment used to be like 
a block and a half west of right of, of that block on Hollywood Boulevard. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I would always like go behind and go on Franklin because you yeah. don't drive down Hollywood Boulevard ever unless you're a tourist or doing a drug deal with Elmo. <laughs> no, then you still park on, you still park you still on park Franklin on. and walk. Yeah. <laughs> or you, yeah no, or you, any, anytime, anytime I had to head around that area, I I never drove because you can't you can't freaking find any place to park out there um, in general, and then it's just insanity, and you don't want people breaking into your car. Hey, my, I mean, my you first can. time I, know, I went I know out the, there, I know the safe neighborhoods that are like up the hill a little ways, where like a bunch of my friends used to live, and they used to be like, oh, you can park in my driveway, you can park uh. right here, and I was like, oh, this is the safest parking spot ever because I would go there and then like walk down a few blocks. Uh, a few blocks on the hill to go to uh, the knitting factory when it used to be open right there on the corner. And it was Whoa. Drake from State Farm. Oh man! Oh oh oh! Hold up! This Drake is the uh, in funny. memoriam. That's oh. what I'm watching. I feel like Angela Bassett is saying it like it's spoken word poetry. That's how it's being delivered. That's, <laughs> that's the Angela name? Bassett. I'm no, she's she's presenting the segment. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I'm not be have sad. Mo- not we have yet. a moment of silence oh. for memoriam. Yeah. Oh, I just I just refreshed and literally it popped up. Yeah. I'm still on an, I'm might, still on a fucking car ad. Yeah. We might so we might keep it keep it a little quiet for this, y'all. So Yeah. That's why I'm I was being talking. quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you're ahead, so yeah. God, I love Angela Bassett. This is always like, oh, I, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> like, I got over it. I can hear my roommates watching the Oscars and like literally your screen, Jessica, and mm. downstairs are like completely in sync. So, mm. Oh man. Jeez. Oh. Hi, Angela. Mm. 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 Oh. oh, that sucks. Hmm. I'm kind of blasting through these pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. For the legends. The last one, maybe. Well, it's always the last one. <laughs> uh, is, I bet it's who I think it is, too. Diana Rigg. Oh. Oh, oh, they put him in there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I know which one you're thinking too. Is it DMX? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh yeah. 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 They had to. Put, yep. So wow. toast, toast to all of them. Not there yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll I'll hold off to you. I'll catch up. <laughs> I'll hold on to the The last one is exactly who you think it is. Mm-hmm. It's like I almost. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. Don't yeah. cheers me. <laughs> Oh man, no, I have to go grab more of my drink, so I'll be right back. Oh, that's good. You're just missing a car commercial. I'm guessing. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> or Instagram. I don't fucking know. I actually am on Handmaid's Tale right now, Ed, and I'm like, what is ha- I watched season one and then I dropped off, and I'm like, what is happening now? As much as like as as acclaimed and as talented as I think Margaret Atwood is, like I cannot get through her books. Like their stories are just so depressing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready. <clears throat> the the downside to it, and I hate this. Every year I watch the Oscars, they do the in memoriam. And for some weird reason, at the time they do that, I completely forgot who passed away the previous yeah. year. Well, because yeah. it's so hard to remember what the f- what what happened last month. That like, yeah, oh, it's it's one of the like, oh my god, that only happened last year. Like, I completely yeah. forgot that Cloris Leachman pl- passed this last year. Yeah, but, like, yeah. Fred Willard. Was, like, they showed yeah, him. I was like, I was Fred, like yeah, 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 exactly. Fred Willard is in there, like. Jeez, Ben Stiller, yeah. or not Ben Stiller, uh, what's Jerry Stiller, Jerry, Jerry Stiller? Stiller, yeah, his father, right. Right? but yeah, the fact that they included DMX in that, that was well, he, he's been in a lot of movies that were well, like, he did a lot of music for movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, one, of his, on one, of his, one of his most popular or, songs was it was in Romeo Must Die, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. so. Um, they did Kobe last year, right? Do they do they yeah. announce the nominees like slowly with Best Picture? And... They used to. They used to yeah. through throughout the show. They used to yeah. show like a little like two like like a did minute I... vignette of them of mm-hmm. the movie yeah. and like be like, this is the best. This is nominated for Best Picture. It mm-hmm. showed like a, like a almost a trailer of that movie. Yeah, it was like a super yeah. trailer. They're not doing. They're announcing this year. Best Picture now. What? No, I'm I'm still on I'm still on ad right now. I think. Uh, yeah. what do we have left? Awards. They should be. I think they should be doing actor, actress, and we got actor, picture, actress, yeah. and then best picture. Yeah, there, the director. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, we're at the end. Jesus. Yep. Wow. We're at actor, actress, and best picture. Those I mean, to be fair, movies. it has been on for two and a half hours, three hours. Yeah, we've been streaming for three hours and 18 minutes. <laughs> it, it literally has gone by like that. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. for me right now, they're announcing the nominees for Best Picture. I assume how they've done it, they'll say the winner. Um, but well, we, are they They skipping? haven't done Best Actor or Best Actress yet. I know. <laughs> That's so weird. Weird. Usually- Somebody's getting fired. Oh. Do you oh. think they're saving Best Actor for last because we all know who it's going to be? Yeah. Uh, no, not. they actually are doing Best Picture first here. Oh, wow. it's Rita Moreno. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love her so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna uh, turn like a- this is this is different. Huh. This is bass backwards. Yeah. 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 No, no, Andre. I don't think you understand. Like when I heard that she, they were bringing her back for for Steven Spielberg's version, and that they like created a character for her, I like legit wet. <sighs> I uh-huh. love her so much. Rita Moreno? Oh, yeah. Yes. She's great. <laughs> I I cried when I heard that one day at a They're time. They're finally showing people. scenes from the movies, too. They, like, mm-hmm. haven't done that 
all night. Yeah, that's what mm-hmm. we were saying. They typically do that throughout the throughout the telecast. Mm-hmm. God, Anthony Hopkins is a damn legend. I've always liked when they showed like clips for like actor awards, especially because you're like, yeah. this is how look look at them in this scene killing yeah, it, yeah. you know? <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. Like like probably probably the, the the one that stands out in my head is like one of the worst ways you can introduce an actress. Was um, Gabrielle? Uh, what was her name from Precious? Oh, Cidibe. 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 Yeah. Cidibe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her her clip was like that was the worst possible scene you could have showed, and that truly doesn't show the depth of her character in that movie. Yeah. I mean, you can go back and you can see it, but it was just like, wow. which scene was it? Because it was, hopefully it wasn't the one scene with her father, right? No, no, okay. no. It was even worse. It was, <laughs> so it was, it was the. Uh, uh, the the worst scene. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was it was the scene where where she was stealing the the bucket. Oh, okay. And it was yeah. just like wow. I, I literally remember everybody on Twitter was was going crazy about that because they were just like, "What the hell? That's not even her best scene in the movie." Wait, what scene are they showing for Mank? <laughs> I oh. wanted to be an actor, and then I look at Daniel Kaluuya, and I'm like, dude. That dude. Nope. <laughs> dude. Oh. Poor Sarah. Oh, I love this. I that's love his, how they, that's they his said, wife. They said Minari. And we're all like, it's Minari. Minari? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they said Minari. <laughs> Why is this scene chose for Mank? Why exactly? No. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, uh yeah. like it's a cute okay. interaction between him and his wife, but like that's not what, what I'm thinking. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> See, at least the scene in Ari kind of Yeah, the one in Min- 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 Minari. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. This is kind of wild that we're getting the best picture before we get the actor and actress. Yeah, I have oh, a feeling gosh. that they're saving. I'm not a big fan of this. For last. I'm not a fan of this. I have yeah. a feeling they're saving actor for last because of Bozeman. Yeah. I bet you he wins it, and they're saving it for last. He's, uh. he's got to win. I mean, I'm. I, he did such a great job, but I swear to God, like Riz Ahmed did such a like. There, there's yeah. not a role like that role ever. Mm-hmm. In cinema, think- there's been a lot of roles like the one that Chadwick Boseman played in Ma Rainey's mm-hmm. Black Bottom, mm-hmm. but yeah. there's not been a role like Riz Ahmed's, and he fucking killed it. It, it seems to be the way it is, like almost every year, though, where it's like this person would have definitely won if it wasn't why for is, this. Why is this the clip that you're showing from Promising Young Woman? <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. here, this is like this one is of my the weirdest scenes. clip to show from that movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I, I'm not. Sure. You need to. It's it's a really good movie, and I love the I, casting of Bo I, Burnham. I, I, I don't. I don't. Yes. I, I'm one of those that subscribes to the. I don't like the ending of it, but it's a good movie overall. But that was I, a somehow weird sort clip of stayed away from the spoilers. So. I haven't heard any woman say that because every woman is kind of like, "Yep, that's that was, exactly and, how this one is." That's exactly perfectly fine. Movies. Yeah, I I am okay with that. I feel like the ending is different, but I mean, I'm a completely different. They announce the winner. So. Uh oh, I will hold my reaction. <laughs> well, I just know someone, Riz I right know now. someone who won't hold their reaction, so I'm going to mute him. So, <laughs> Jessica, it was, it was nice having you on. <laughs> Come on, bring her back. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> You've been Just hazed. for the joke. It's, oh. it's streamy, Artie. You have to do that joke. You've been <laughs> hazed. <laughs> this is a good scene. This is a good Literally, scene for Riz. There's, there's, or, uh, not, yeah. there's not a scene, I don't think, and I, I maybe it's just because it's super fresh in my head, but like this I'm scene in particular is so good, but I don't think that there's a weak scene for Sound of Metal Mm-mm. at yeah, all. No, like really. the scene where where he like literally runs out of out of the concert that he plays in, he's starting to have a panic attack in the alley. That's like, the best. I, yeah, I yeah. felt that anxiety. Like, yeah, 
Oh. No, they, they, they really captured that moment so well. That was actually the second movie I saw back in the theater, and I, I so, so like, so I'm so glad that I saw it in theaters. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Don't react because Chris and I are still delayed. <laughs> I, still, I still didn't see you. I feel oh, so bad for okay. Chess, but I got a Okay. All right. Don't react. I'm not. I'm just saying okay. <laughs> I... Is it going to the trial of the Chicago 7? It probably I'm okay is. with this. I'm okay with it. I'm not reacting. You're just going to Madeline! Yeah. Yeah. No, Madeline. Yep. And watch yeah. like, how they go on stage and stuff. It's kind of cute. Uh, I just you like love... Madeline. Here, here, here's the thing, and I haven't mentioned it before, but here's the thing of what makes No Man Land so oh, good. People it's hugging. Just... Yay. Yeah. I know. I miss You've got, call. you have two two actual actors in that movie. Everyone else is yeah. people who actually live that nomad life. Like, yeah. I can't talk. Laugh. That, nomad nomad laugh. Laugh. that nomad that laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, this, this story that the guy tells about his son, like, committing yeah. suicide is... That. it's that's, that's his story. Like, that's not a story. That is his personal story as a human being, as a father, and it is so powerful because mm -hmm. I don't think that any actor could have pulled off that emotion Look, telling that story. Oh, they're like crying but happy. Yeah. To it's groguette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chloe's out. Yeah. Called her groguette. Did you say Chloe's out? Groguette. Yeah. Groget instead of Grogu. Instead of Grogu. She's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I just can she can can she be my Yoda? Can she just like ride on my back everywhere I go? Like Chloe's she, looks, she looks like she's like five foot nothing and weighs like maybe 85 pounds. Like I could totally carry that on my back all day. Oh Wait, man. how did I turn into James Vanderbeek? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your laugh. Look, Dawson. I don't Love want. Yeah, life. okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't want, want your life. life. Yeah, I don't want your I, I, I see life. It. I see it now. <laughs> nice uh, call, Garth. That was a good call, Garth. Good so call. I, I, I will call out as Garth is saying. Uh, he did send in his stream labs. I don't like the Academy Awards, but I love you all. That's why I'm here. I, I'm also here to distract you with other websites. This is where he was talking about the, uh, yes. the Collider Schmodown mm -hmm. wiki page oh, that our, we were all right. obsessed with for like an hour. Oh shit! Sure. Right. I literally got. I, I forgot that I was supposed to look for a photo. No, I'm sorry, Garth. I would have read that stream lab out earlier, but Sean kept staring at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He does have a mesmerizing glare. I will I, say that. I close that tab. I will yeah. hold on. Oh gosh. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Oh, hold on. You get more sloths. Of course, she has more sloths. <laughs> animal. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Well, I was gonna bring in a sloth. <laughs> glass oh. that I have, so I'm oh, wondering yeah. from that now. <laughs> I feel like it. a focus on the sloth was... <laughs> <laughs> Feels weird to drink beer from a wine glass, but I'm going to still do it. You know what? <laughs> do it. Go with you know, I, I, in my almost 40 years of life, I've done a lot more shameful things. Go with your bad self. <laughs> in college once, they ran out of cups, and I drank from a bowl. That oh, was interesting. You know what? I had a rum and coke in a bowl. You know, however you <laughs> need to get that get that down, you do it. This is the thought behind it. Any glass is a wine glass if it holds wine. That's all of it. <laughs> there you go. That's, yeah, that's a very correct statement. <laughs> yeah, it says, let's get slothed. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> You've like owned what your potential last name could be before you even entered the schmodown. You're you're on the right path. <laughs> yeah, it's. My, I've always loved sloths, but then my mom kind of like bought into it too, and then sloths started getting pop. Like it used to be like hard to find sloth related things. And now it's like all over everywhere, so it's very easy. <laughs> just, just thank Kristen. Uh... Not Kristen Stewart, Kristen Bell. So, what oh. was your 
Jessica, what was your uh, reaction when you saw in Zootopia that that clip with uh, Flash when he was like? I didn't like my favorite um, movie sloth is Belt from oh. the Crudes. In case you guys are wondering, oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. I love I the like one, the is. one Flash from Zootopia when they t- when they told him that joke and he has that slow reaction. That was perfect. <laughs> my favorite I, movie sloth I, is Goonies. My my definitely my favorite one has to be definitely my hey. favorite one has to be uh, John Leguizamo's uh, Sid what? in Ice Age. What's Judy hey. Garland doing on stage? Hologram. Uh huh. Hmm. I was about to say I see someone else. I I get it. it was- Wait, is it Renee Zellweger? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's announcing. Dude, she was so then. she was so good at. Oh, she's doing actress. That's not no, that's because not because she done. Yeah, because she won for. Uh, yeah, but they usually do the opposite. They usually, uh, it's opposite. Whoever wins for actress introduces best actor, and whoever wins for actor previously introduces best actor. What are they doing yeah. to my Oscars? They're fucking with me. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. They make us all cry at the end. Like, that's what it is. This is a very weird <laughs> Oscar. Like, I, I respect what they're doing, and it, like, what, what they've done wow. has, what, what, has why been does good. Joe, why does Joe and Cole she's done with her look speech. happy at all that his wife just won? You already got the winner and done with the speech? Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Holy crap. She worked through it pretty... Oh, that means Joaquin oh, is here. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Dude, so I, weird. Uh, I feel so weird so, right so now. Don't don't refresh uh refresh Wikipedia because apparently it also will tell you who won best actor. And we haven't even gotten to that yet. Oh, oh like did, there's people ahead of me. I want another one. I'm doing so <laughs> well, you guys. So well. I think I saw this one coming. Frances McDormand. It's Frances McDormand. I mean, you put her, she's like the Meryl Streep of the Oscars. You put her in. No, and she's she going to win. Meryl Streep is the Meryl Streep of the Oscars. She fucked it up. We were going to get an all like fucking non white sweet. Joaquin's doing some great acting within his talking about actors. <laughs> This is like, is it, is it Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix who presents it? Yeah, because he, he, he won last year. Yeah. Oh yeah, he Joker. won last year for Joker. Yeah. 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 If you take a if you take just a beat, you'll hear me say exactly what you question. <laughs> you know what's a live stream? We're gonna go. Uh, we're doing. What's your excuse live? when we're not live and we're ta- just talking normally? That's just called the camera's biology. not on us. Mm-hmm. Just um, Wow. Nope. She is done with that speech. So nope. That was Jeff, real quick. Nope. Don't react. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I refresh Wikipedia so I already know who wins this also. No, I have to I have to keep refreshing my stream because it keeps just like playing all these car commercials while you guys are still talking and now refresh <laughs> and all of a sudden there's walking <laughs> That sucks. Who's who's all the right, best well, car commercial? Toyota. Those of you who have seen it, shut up. I'll say it's really only just talking to my brother there. I'm just waiting so I can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, if you just ruined it in the chat, I'm going to never talk to you again. <laughs> oh. Jeremy. <laughs> if you fucking ruined it, you're banned. And I will make Rachel a mod just to do that. Uh, here's the thing. Have them they announced it yet? Yeah, they so, just now on my street. Are you fucking kidding, Jeremy? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
So, real quick, before we have full emotion and talk about that, uh, Why Wikipedia, did they not? We, Wikipedia actually highlighted Chadwick Bozeman as the winner, and now oh. it's highlighting Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Whoever's editing the Wikipedia li- in real stream, you. <laughs> oh, so you were spoiled incorrectly. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking it was Chadwick yeah, Boseman. Jeremy fucking spoiled it in real time. <laughs> Garth actually put him in timeout. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't ban him. So why did they not the best feature at the end? Because it was so anticlimactic to be like, Anthony Dude, Hopkins, he won, but he's not here. So goodbye. Wait, how much? That's how the most like anticlimactic like, hey, this ever. Is the end of the show. We're just gonna fly away. Thank you, Delta. Oh <laughs> my god. Uh. Supervising producer Rob Payne, you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> I'm blaming you, they- you. You're the first name I saw. <laughs> <laughs> like the last speech was like Francis, who was like super quick. Yeah. What the hell? She's like, yep, thank you. See ya. Peace. Bye. No, it wasn't a weird Oscars. It was different until the end, and then it got fucked weird. Like, <laughs> ugh. By the well, way, for y'all just uh, just uh, joining us, this is not a family friendly stream. I'm sorry. We can. Uh, That's okay. I absolutely agree with you because why? Why would you end on somebody who's not even there? I cannot wait to see the news reports of That's, this that was tomorrow because yeah. it's going to be insane. Yeah. They're going to rip these Oscars apart. We can. We can oh, yeah. untime out, Jeremy. That's fine. Yeah, yeah untime. It's fine. I want it. I want it. Honestly, like honestly, I feel like that could have been a joke. Mm-hmm. But the way that it turned out, and wow. it turned out to be true, um, either you're Nostradamus or that was a dick <laughs> move. Okay, that is. I, think so, maybe- I, I, I will, will say overall, Anthony Hopkins did a fantastic performance, but right, he did, but <gasps> not not <Huffa>. unwarranted. <laughs> um, and why did they choose? Did they not know the result? Like, are the results so no. hidden that they're like, it's gonna be Chadwick, right? And then it's I, not. I guarantee you, and this is what's gonna pop up on new uh, on all news outlets tomorrow. They're mm-hmm. going to say that. Uh, because again, typically the Oscars it ends with Best Picture. Because it ended with this one, and they're like, "It's Anthony Hopkins, not Chadwick Boseman." Good night, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rage eating right now. God damn! I like I, I kind of meant it as a joke, but like every fucking thing just fell off of my <laughs> shelf. And that's roughly about the idea that they probably have with that. Yeah, and they were doing so good too, like the diversity of the winners. And I, I guarantee you, there's there's going to be a storm about this tomorrow on news oh, yeah. news they're outlets. Probably. Okay, well, I don't know how to untime out somebody, so sorry. You have to finish oh. up that five minutes there, Jeremy. Oh. That's that's gonna be bad. <laughs> they don't okay. fuck up. Uh, apparently everything just fell over, so I'm still good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seemed like you were actually having the there's also secret voter in I know. Wow, like they, it they felt like every them, huh? action figure on my shelf up here just avalanched down. <laughs> All right, I'm clicking oh. off that. It's uh it's amazing that Price Waterhouse is still doing the uh the stuff since, looks like. since La La Land. Yeah. Like, I haven't been on Twitter yeah. this entire time. Oh yeah, no, I, I've been getting tweets on my on my watch the entire time about um not not about not about the winners, but about like people's reaction to certain people. Like like they they've been really spoiler free on a lot of them, which is kind of weird, but yeah. Yeah, all of the t- <sighs> Twitter's just like, um, like, <laughs> we're all confused. <laughs> I like, I like, and I'll say, I know we're live, camera's still on me. Mm-hmm. I like Anthony Hopkins. His performance, that movie was fantastic. It was. Regardless of the fact that Chadwick Boseman passed away. 
Mm -hmm. Chadwick Boseman's performance was still better than Anthony Hopkins. Easily. By far. And that was yeah. like Anthony yeah. Hopkins, like a career defining performance in that movie, I would say. But That's insane. Chadwick Boseman's performance in Ma Rainey was so much better. Like I loved him in that movie. Oh, that's insane. Well, that's that's also the other thing too is that he, like everybody who I was talking to said it's Chadwick Boseman's to lose. Yeah. Like like there's no like there's he no. He got the globe. He 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 got the globe. But then also there's the other thing too where it's like oh well why not give it to Anthony Hopkins because he never won one. I'm like no he won a big one back in the '90s for freaking best actor for a. Uh, Hannibal Lecter. So he's already got one. He doesn't need another one right now. And that has to play in some way, shape, or form whenever you win an Oscar. I mean, like, it's... I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm sad, too, because it, like, overshadows, like, the good things that happen towards the middle and the beginning of the show. <laughs> exactly. Like, and how like, long had... the, like, yeah. humanitarian ward what? I don't know. It it it, no, it, but, but it like, does. It feels like they knew what the the outcome of that particular nomination was gonna be, and they're like, "Well, sh crap," <laughs> or other words, <laughs> we we gotta figure we gotta figure figure out a way to circumvent this as it much as the, possible. It was it was the ultimate bait and switch. Everyone was expecting it because it was going to be last, and then they were like, "Okay, it's not by like no." Yeah. Like, instead of instead of a celebrated black man who died tragically long before he should have winning this award, we're gonna get it give it to some old white man and then we're gonna peace out. Like what no. Yeah. No. I definitely feel uh, I'm, I'm in full agreement with you on that, Rachel. It's it's because because like literally the minute that they put on Best Picture first, that's what we were all thinking right then and there. Wow. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it's like I I expected like fucking I, I expected the uh what what's their name the du jour uh what the the girls the from Wakanda. Du jour Wakanda. Wakanda. Yeah, I was expecting oh. them to like come on stage and accept his <laughs> honor. Like, <laughs> that would have been awesome. That right? would have been fantastic. <laughs> this is why I should be planning the Oscars. Give me a fucking yeah. job. And uh, if the show really. ended with Best Picture and with those ladies that I yes. got to do, like that would have been fine. It would have been absolutely, great. absolutely. Yeah. Like, like, like it, it felt like they changed it unnecessarily. Like to go out on to go out on the on the fucking low of being like, oh hey, he's gone, bye, and then it just cuts. It's better to cut out on people like like as you're saying, Jessica. It's better to cut out on everybody who's like almost about to cry that they won best picture. Just celebrating Chadwick Boseman's life. That's how you end the whole Oscars. Yeah. Like yeah, not exactly. only did, not only did they not give it to Chaz Chadwick Boseman, but like. They literally made it so that we couldn't do. There was no happy ending. It it just it it just ended like yeah. the worst movie ever. And and, uh, and honestly, I I kind of I kind of feel I kind of feel like, oh wow. yeah. <laughs> I kind of as, as talented. Yeah, no, as talented as an actor Anthony Hopkins is, this is going to follow him for the rest of his life, and he's and he and he had no fucking choice in it whatsoever. I wouldn't, Pretty much, feel, yeah. I wouldn't feel so bad about it um, if Anthony Hopkins, like, if there had been, like, an acceptance speech recorded oh, that they played. That like, mm -hmm. like, what the it was fuck? Like, it was like, here it is, Anthony Hopkins, see ya, and He's peace out. He's not here right now, but he says thank you. Bye, guys. Here's Delta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, zoom, like, zoom, man. Away. Like, <laughs> like, the sponsor the of this train wreck is an airplane. <laughs> that kills dogs. <laughs> I just, I Jeez. can't. Ugh. Uh, I mean, like, congratulations, yeah. So, uh, congratulations to No Man Land or to No Man Land. Like, they won picture, director, and actress. Good for them. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I will say, congratulations to Anthony Hopkins. Like I said at the top of this yeah, video, dude. he did a phenomenal performance. Absolutely, but yeah. the way it. Uh, the way it looks, Steven the, perce Soderberg. the perception, the perception of this. Yeah, I know. Steven Soderbergh is a, is a big producer of it. So, uh, so I can, I, I can easily call where the, where news articles are going to go with this tomorrow yeah. is. Like we tried right guys, but yeah, no, you didn't. Uh, like, you didn't. 
You tried like a white guy who was coming into his grandfather's established law firm. That's how hard you tried. No. If, uh, uh, again, I, I, I separate it from, damn, I'm going to hit my mic. I separate it from the fact that Chadwick Boseman passed away this past year. He did. <laughs> ben uh, like, just tweeted, so what did I miss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, Chadwick Boseman's, per- I, I put it completely against Chadwick Boseman's performance in Mall Rainey versus Anthony Hopkins in The Father. Anthony Hopkins' performance was phenomenal. I mm-hmm. personally, regardless of the fact that Chadwick Boseman passed away, his performance was a little bit better. Mm-hmm. I love Chadwick Boseman in that movie. I will re-watch Ma Rainey's movie. Black yeah, like <laughs> at this point, I, at this point, I'm I, I'm kind of convoluted with the whole ordeal, so I, I forget the title of the movie. But mm-hmm. I will re-watch Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I love that that that's a movie that's based around dialogue, much like I will compare it. I'm sorry. Might be a simple oversimplification. I will compare it to Clerks from Kevin Smith. The movie is dialogue based, and that's what sets the tone for the movie. Mm -hmm. I loved Ma Rainey's Black Bottom because of that. The performances, everything was come was built based off of the dialogue and the performance behind those those words. Mm -hmm. The father. The the father had a good idea based off of the idea of subjecting you as the viewer into mm-hmm. what it's like to have dementia, which is phenomenal. That was a great thing, a great tool for the filmmakers to use for that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to be clear, I don't think any of us are angry at the fact that no that he won. No. We're just upset with the way that it was it was presented. I'm not, yeah, almost, exactly. almost, like, almost, unless, say, almost, unless oh, you oh. know, unless you know for sure, unless you are being told by the people who like by the accountants <laughs> that, that Chadwick Boseman is going to win this. So you should probably make your show, build your show in, in a certain way. You shouldn't be building your show in a certain way. And then let <laughs> other people just like, yeah, I'm very oh curious God. once got Chris the, laughing. That was the biggest gamble Brilliant. Brilliant. of live TV I think I've seen since like maybe I cannot one of the wait. Finales. And like the, the viewership's like going down already. Like people don't watch the Oscars yeah. as much, and that's uh, like not gonna keep them. Ryan Nielsen oh. tweeted out, "Where's that La La Land Horowitz guy when you need him?" <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Chadwick Boseman actually won. Whatever. Chadwick Boseman actually won. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. Could oh, you imagine? No, I cannot wait. Like it, uh, I have to work tomorrow. In between helping customers, I cannot <laughs> wait to read the news articles about this because it's gonna be insane. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, oh, man! Yeah, I I think I think I'm done with the uh, the Academy Awards now. Um, I think next year we just get dressed up and get drunk and talk about our favorite moments in film throughout the year while the Oscars are going on, and then just trash them. Uh, so I mean, here's that the, one, I'm there. <laughs> here, here, here's the thing. Uh, out, out of the five of us on screen, all five of us participate in movie trivia in some form or fashion, whether it's the professional or the developmental league. Mm-hmm. We all get paid we, probably the same amount. <laughs> we participate in it. So therefore, I would say the five of us here Maybe. are the are some of the most uh, the ones who are paid attention to film the most. Mm-hmm. Aside from the ones who vote for or who decide who wins the Academy Awards, we're watching it for the simple reason of being able to answer trivia questions later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wayne Burke just tweeted out Soderbergh, why did you let M. Night Shyamalan direct the end of the show? <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
Dwayne. Wow. Dwayne. Yeah. Dwayne, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. But for real. For real. Yeah, I, after I, the I, in memoriam, it all kind of was like, mm, yeah, like, like Nomad Land, and then. <laughs> I, like, I do, I do like. I, I, I will say, as uh, our streaming, uh, our viewership of the audience of this did kind of spike up a little after the in memoriam part. <laughs> Everyone just wanted to see what we were going to think at the end of that telecast. Woof. <laughs> The, the, official right. cine, the official the official Cinefanatics uh, review of this is woof woof woof. Yeah. Well, I, I think our reaction is Buzz, your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I did man. worse than last year. I got thirteen right. Thirteen out wow. of what? 20? Is it 24? Uh, granted, some some of these uh, awards have been shrunk down to... Well, s sound was supposed to be sound editing and sound... Sound mixing. Yeah. Mixing. And, so that was one. Honestly, Jess, at this point, I think your loss is actually a win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> oh, yeah, like, out of 20. <laughs> oh, so, like, I did the... Like... Last year I got fourteen out of twenty four. This year I got thirteen out of twenty three. Because who did you have for uh, actor and actress? Bozeman and who? I know one um, of them is not right. Actress right. I got Francis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got, I got, no, no, nobody got actor right. <laughs> I got twelve of the ones that I put in for, but I didn't do any of like God. the documentary shorts or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so, <laughs> so. So Garth put in another stream labs and he's like, and that's why I hate the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, but I, I do love you all. I was happy to see Nine Inch Nails win an Oscar, though. Side note, Jessica, do you own three toes sloth slippers? <laughs> no slippers, no. It's on the Not, Amazon wish list. I have socks. I yet, yeah. I, I will point out what I just now noticed, and I appreciate the fact that it looks like Jessica has upgraded from a light beer to what looks like just straight up whiskey. <laughs> no, it's still the beer. I just poured it into. Oh, okay, my <laughs> it looks beer? like you're just drinking a glass of whiskey. What, yeah. what beer are you drinking? That looks super amber. I think it's just like the light hitting it. Yeah. What beer are you drinking? Um, it's Yingling. It's oh. like the light version. Oh, okay, the Japanese. Mm. Japanese beer. Yeah, it's good. So, Yingling, Yingling's I, brewed in, like, Boston. I gotta be honest. It's but, meant to be a Japanese beer. I don't know. Corona, never, uh, like Corona, I don't want to burst your bubbles, but Corona is brewed in Colorado. Yeah, that figures. That yeah. makes sense. I like, I like me a Corona. I do, too. But I love it when people are like, it's a Mexican beer. And I'm like, bitch, it's no, a it's not. <laughs> I'm glad we're... Uh, it's the most white beer, like, ever. Yeah. I'm glad we're doing this this whole thing live and with people because if this was me and my brother just sitting here just watching the Oscars on our own, mm -hmm. we didn't do a stream, we didn't have people in the stream, I would be very yeah. upset right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, get in my car and go for a drive upset right now. So yeah. here are the socks that I have. Oh my mm. god. Oh wow. <laughs> Nice. Got a chain on? It's a yeah. Got oh my god, that's nice. so great. That's great. <laughs> that's great. Oh, crazy. Yeah, this oh, was this was so disappointing. We were doing so well. We were doing we were. so well. It was it was such a weird setup, but like I oh, kind god. of enjoyed it. And then they fucked up by doing by literally it was great until they did best picture first. Yeah. Like, yeah, had they, I was like, oh. had they done best actor and actress and then did best picture and ended on that, it would have been like, oh, that kind of sucks. It's kind of stupid, but Re fine. Remember when they did best picture and we were like, oh, back in the days when they did best picture, and we we're like, oh, it's because they're giving it to Chadwick at the end. It's that's yeah. that's nice. It's going to be so nice. How remember, wrong we were. We were so innocent then. Remember <laughs> when you were hopeful for, like, you know, a very diverse Oscar by the very end? 
Well, 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 we were hopeful for people being like, you know, <laughs> oh, this is how it should be going because this is the obvious outcome. And this is obviously a great production choice by ending it on a fucking great note by celebrating Chadwick Boseman and his life and contributions to amazing cinema. No, no, no. I'd like to think that this at least shows that none of them actually know what's in the envelope until. Then you don't fucking gamble like that. This isn't goddamn Vegas. Bingo. <laughs> like, if you want to be that reckless, fucking go to Vegas, go to Atlantic City, go to Reno. I don't care. Don't gamble on Chadwick Boseman winning posthumously Best Actor when he doesn't. And then you don't even have an acceptance speech for one of the actors that could have won. Like, don't play the odds like that. Like, I'm also like half imagining the entire room is still there right now. And they're all just there going, what happened? We demand a recount. <laughs> I, what just happened? Like, I really wish that they would have shown like a, a tight shot on Daniel Kaluuya being like, bitch, what? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, I would have loved to see that. Like, that would have been great. I would have loved that. That would have been um, the meme right then and there in that instant, right? No. <laughs> By the way, I would like to remind no. y'all I can hear all of y'all in my earbuds yeah, while I'm hold on. being. <laughs> and, no, 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 no. Hold Don't on. Walk. And stop it. I pulled up a comment. Hold on. Uh, yeah. That no, is they didn't the most a... emotional I've ever been during that. Dude. Dude. <laughs> okay. I pulled up Rachel's comment. No, they weren't going to have a speech prepared for Hopkins because he wasn't expecting to win. Yeah, but see, here's the thing is if you're nominated and you're not going to show up, fucking send in a video just in case. All you have to do is say, I like to thank the Academy, my uh, the producers, the director, my agent, my wife, and my family. Great. Yeah. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Like, cheers to Daniel or to, uh, uh, to Chadwick Boseman. Um, Thank you so much for this award. That's it. It's not it's hard. hard. The one thing, but 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 th wasn't that the whole big issue with this Oscar in particular was that anybody that wasn't in attendance could not virtually do it this year? No, they've they've literally done it where they've they've recorded like acceptance speeches from other people. Like those aren't done live. Yeah, no, 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 no. But, but, but I'm sorry, sorry. I said virtually. I'm, I meant like for the people that don't show up that know that they're going to win, that they can leave like a video behind, uh, like how they've done in previous years, as you're saying. But it wasn't the big thing that they weren't doing it this year because they wanted everybody in the room to accept it or at least to be ready and live whenever it went up. I, sure, I guess. Am, am I making sense? No. no but I'm like, sorry. screw them for ex screw them for putting the weight of the entire show on that on that yeah. Ex yeah. expectation no yeah. like honestly who, honestly everybody involved in this in this uh award show who had like the call to like whoever made the call to do it in this order needs to be fired and never given an award show to deal with again i i definitely yeah. feel like Typically, the Oscars, the awards are held secret by Price Waterhouse Coopers. Uh, this normally they keep it secret, even from everyone involved in the production of the uh, the Academy Awards. Yeah, this one feels like they may have leaked at least to the production staff what was going to happen, and production staff like, oh, well, in that case, we're gonna make the best actor go to last. Could you imagine if that was the yeah. case and then they did a recount and then they forgot to send that last email to the production staff? Could you imagine? Well, that, 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 that sounds like a that sounds like a outcome for a presidential election that just didn't happen. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Oof. Mm. God, this yeah, this I well, again. This is going to be a major news story tomorrow, and I can't wait to see like what develops on this because we're going to be talking about this on Tuesday. <laughs> you know what I just thought about, though? Oh, my what? gosh. If they did know and they still decided to keep it like this, that was super fucking smart of them because everyone, like you just said, is going to be talking about it. Everyone's going to be watching clips. Everyone's going to go back and rewatch the awards ceremony. Like, they're going to get hits like nobody's business. The issue is 
is that they shouldn't because it was fucking bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. Garth is just saying it's already yeah. a major news story. Let me just. Of course it is. Oscars. Let's just do a a simple <sighs> Google search. You know, they say bad press is better than no press, but in the case no, of like your dwindling, point. in the case of your dwindling ratings, I yeah. would recommend going with good press. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 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 plan your Oscars the way that everybody fucking likes them to be planned. <laughs> Headphones are about to die. Like when they came out and you were like, "Oh, do they do this?" We're like, "Yeah." Usually throughout the film or throughout the the show. You're like, oh, they're announcing it right now for the best picture. I was like, yeah. Sorry. I was like, oh, you're, you're <laughs> I'm watching fine. this bizarre video of Anthony Hopkins, and someone said, found the accepted speech Anthony Hopkins sent in that the producers are too cowardly to air. And like, it's not real, but it's funny. Like, it's from like, oh, oh, now I have the hiccups because I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all's teammate. Lacey. Wait, what did what did Lacey put? God damn it, Anthony man. Hopkins tomorrow with a gif of uh, the Loki Odin going, "Oh shit!" By the way, y'all, this uh, oh. stream on this stream on the Cinefanatic channel is not family friendly. Just to let y'all know ahead of time. Oops. No. <laughs> you know. Oh no. Did you see Lacey's post 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Ow, excuse me. Uh, she she retweeted a video, uh, a tweet from uh Anthony Hopkins from back in 2018. So this is what happens when you're all work and no play, and it's him just like freaking out in front of his camera. Oh, was that's that what I was laughing? that's the video I was watching. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> you know, oh. here's the thing, like I, I will say, uh, as uh, a part of me wants to say that we do these mm. these live watch alongs to potentially catch a scenario like we had with La La Land winning over Moonlight. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting to catch in the in in my wildest dreams. I was not expecting to catch like the real like. Uh, yeah. here's the reaction to the Oscars. I wanted to talk about it so when I saw it, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> kudos, kudos, kudos to you. Here, here's the kudos thing. Kudos the, to you that you got to see that, but like a yeah. full like almost 10 minutes the, before we did. The whole yeah. La La Land moon, Moonlight thing, that was a kind of a <laughs> hilarious screw up. That it they is. Did. It this is, is not a fun. hilarious screw up. That was, this is that a was awful funny and heartbreaking. Up. And this was awful. This was a bad choice. This was a bad production choice. It, I mean, like, flip, like, imagine if it was, like, Moonlight 1, and then everyone was happy for Moonlight, and they were like, just kidding, it was La La, like, if people would be happy for La La Land, but, like, it, it would feel the same. Yeah, different. me over here who loves La La Land would have been like, I love this movie, but, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. I can't see Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone no, no, kind no. of in their head was like, Chadwick won. They did this because Chadwick won. <laughs> he, he deserved it like again like i don't feel like i can overstress this it's oh. not because he passed away his his performance in that movie was phenomenal yeah like i, I just, actually i would be okay if this category was between chadwick boseman and anthony hopkins and i would still have expected chadwick boseman to pull the win on this but yeah, Anthony Hop cool. Anthony Hopkins was really good in The Father. He was. But I, here's my question. My question is: Would this have been just as just as odd an ending if it was like Riz who won instead of Anthony Hopkins? Yes, it would have. Yeah. It would have. It would have been weird had somebody else won. But it wouldn't. Have he would have gone up weird. and made a speech. Riz would have though. been able to make a speech. Yeah, yeah. And and Riz and and somebody whoever what if somebody other than Chadwick had won that was present and had been able to give a speech, they literally would have started out their speech by paying homage to fucking Chadwick Boseman. Exactly. Like, yeah, they yeah. would have. Yeah, what? exactly. Like I can't believe I won over Chadwick Boseman. Mm -hmm. I would have walked over and given this given. Given the statue to Chadwick's family or anybody who is there to like represent him. 
right? I lo- I love Anthony yeah. Hopkins, and he definitely deserves an acting no- uh, award in some sort for what he's done throughout his life. But this, I feel like, was very like. Much do you remember? Chadwick Bo- when Boseman's Bong won, year. Bong Joon Ho won last year, and he like acknowledged Martin Scorsese, and everyone like gave him like a yeah. standing ovation and stuff. Yeah, like I yeah. feel like something like that could have happened. Yeah, that's what should have happened. <laughs> yeah, but nobody was there to like give props. Yeah, and that's that's that I think is the f- most fucked up part of it. Yeah. It's like wow, you you didn't even have a video on hand for him to like. Pay homage to him uh, at all. <laughs> Cam Chef. Hey guys, just hoping this <laughs> most of the awards been very happy. Well, I mean, you're gonna hear us like like sit here and contemplate for the next like 20 minutes, like how messed up the end of the Oscars were. Yeah. Oh. This just goes to show you that that if you have a great show but you have a bad ending, that yeah. bad ending is still going to stick with you. I mean, like it's it's one of those things. I can't think of all the winners that have come beforehand where I was like, oh my god, I'm actually happy that this happened. And I'm like, great, no, that that's all kind of soiled now because Chadwick did not win or because I, it ended in this way. Like, I, I, so I will say overall, the way they pulled off the Oscars this year, I thought was very well done. Yeah. It, it it was as close as they could have gotten to a regular Oscars uh, 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 ceremony in the time of still of a, a, a pandemic. Yeah, I so really, it, I actually really enjoyed the setup. Like, I really enjoyed. The yeah, scene. I. Yep. It, it it was different, but I really liked it. But then, mm-hmm. as soon as they threw in that curveball of doing best picture first, I was like, this doesn't feel right. Um, but mm-hmm. Lon Harris tweeted out, "It's a sure thing. The category is a total lock. We just got to switch up the order. You just got to give me a few days." And then posted this from uh, uh, Uncut Gems. <laughs> <laughs> like, <sighs> it's That's just awesome. it, it was it like like I said it was it was a bad it was a bad bet by mm-hmm. who by the production team. It was a it was a bad call. They shouldn't have done it. They should have. It, I here's the thing. The I don't time know. during the show. And it Honest, just, honestly, was it because like maybe they were told ahead of time who was going to win? We don't know. Was that the order they were thinking of going on? Were they originally planning on ending this on a good note where Chadwick Boseman wins Best Actor? Like, yeah, but, but even here's the thing: we, we were all we, thinking we, Chadwick Boseman was going to win. So. Uh, Unless they showed that, unless they showed the production team the actual envelope and split it open for them to see who won, and it said Chadwick Boseman on it, they never should have done it in this in this order ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 it was too risky a call for too important of an issue. Like honestly, like you had you had Chadwick Boseman passing away during the pandemic. I, and yeah. this is how you have to finagle pulling off the Academy Awards, the Oscars. I, I would have, I would have taken the emotional Chadwick Boseman wins, like where it belong, where the where the mm-hmm. actual like actor belongs mm-hmm. in the setup, over. Let's gamble and risk it for the end. Yeah. And, and, I'm, I'm, yeah. and I'm with Cam- Camshaft. You weren't here earlier. Like I'm with you. I was with Riz to to win this. Like I wanted Riz to win. Mm-hmm. I think he did a fantastic job. I think that that role had never been written before, and it was performed mm-hmm. in such a way that I don't think anybody could ever duplicate yeah. or or surpass it. Um, whereas mm-hmm. I feel like Chadwick Boseman's character has been written before, and it has been done before, and I think that somebody maybe in the future could do a better job of it. I, I that's just how I feel. Like I think Chad did a. I think I think Chadwick did a great job. Um, in that role, it was phenomenal. It literally like made me gasp um, yeah. and surprise during some Absolutely. points and made me cry with such emotional um, frailty that like, yeah, it, that can only be achieved by very special actors. But like, I feel like Riz should have won. And like, if Riz had won, I feel like he would have gone to the stage and been like, this is for Chadwick, like 100%. And it would have been fine. Definitely. But we didn't get any closure. 
We just got a fucking Delta commercial. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least no, we got the Delta, Delta commercial. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah but it's only miles from it, so fuck it. <laughs> at least it wasn't a Spirit Airlines commercial, let's just be honest. <laughs> yeah, with the amount of money they charged, they could never afford an Oscar mm, commercial. No. <laughs> yeah. uh so here's the thing y'all we could be spending all night complaining about how bad how bad this ended uh, again as i've said i feel like this is going to be massively in the news if not right now tomorrow it so y'all are free to oh, read no. all about the massive slaughter that this was um this is one of the times I kind of feel glad that we did a live like reaction to this, but at the same time, like, God, why? Why did we need to be live and showing our raw human emotion to this? It's just, uh, okay. Good TV. It is good TV. Sure, like but this is, I don't want, I, I don't want our YouTube channel to be capitalizing on what's seemingly an overall humanistic negative opinion of what happened uh so this is all i know i get it this is all kinds of weird so the oscars are what they are it's played out the way it's played out regardless of our opinion again we're only like merely humble people that answer movie trivia questions on a professional basis so we're just going to completely gloss over that um yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's that was the Oscars going... over the last few years. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to, uh, at least me and my brother are going to definitely talk about this more on Tuesday because I feel like that's enough time for the news to flesh out. So join both me and my brother on Tuesday for a tagline when we do a, a live uh, reaction to what the news is showing us. That's going to be Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I guess that's 7.30 Pacific and 10.30 Eastern. Who knows at this point? Everything's all everything's all messed up. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you follow us for that. Uh, before we wrap this up, y'all, anyone else in the chat, y'all have anything else you want to say? Get those in real quick. Let's start with who, who else on screen right now? Let's get some plugs going out. Let's start with uh, Jessica. Where can well, we be find quick you? for me? You can watch my match on the movie trivia showdown, but other than that, not really. My name is Jessica. That's about it. <laughs> hey, what a di damn fine match it was. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> yeah. Andres, where can we find you at? Uh, you know what? I'm going to say ladies first. Go right ahead, Rachel. Oh, oh. all right. Uh, you can find me. I on like Twitter. that. You've, it's been a while since I've been called a lady. You don't know me too well, do you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> shocker for you coming on my show. Um, <laughs> so you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at RM Silvestrini. Uh, I have a weekly show every Thursday uh, called Movies, Music, and Mayhem. Um, keep your eyes posted to my Twitter and Instagram for updates and details. Um, usually uh, on Sunday nights, I tend to watch something really good called Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and then I do an after show on Monday afternoons. Um, but that isn't the case tonight because of the Oscars. Womp, womp. So starting next Monday, uh, you can find me and Maxwell and Lindsay Payne there on my channel uh, on YouTube, uh, which the links are in my Twitter. Um, come follow us there. Um, and then I'm all over the PJ Campbell network. We I apparently have a new show where my very aggressive Yenta of Sean Sullivan is trying to find me love in a show called show me naughty, <laughs> um, which uh, <laughs> it's good. It's the first show has already aired. It's been live. Uh, go back and watch it. It's super fun and hilarious and wonderful. Uh, and then uh, more shows are to come apparently. So come hang out there. I'm all over the interwebs. Uh, follow the den on Twitter as well. Uh, probably should be tweeting more because I'm the one who holds the keys to the kingdom on that one. Uh, it's crazy that was. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be sharing, I'll be sharing those keys with a bunch of other den members uh, because I suck at Twitter. Um, yeah, and then find me everywhere. It's fun. Go ahead, Andres. 
All right. Uh, um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram as Galagos. You can also find me on Twitch as Galagos209. Uh, me and my buddy Steve, we do a um, retrospective uh, web show where we talk about some of our favorite classic movies. Like um, We just put out a uh, retrospective on Natural Born Killers, which I'm really excited about, and I thought it turned out great. You can find that on High Voltage Media on YouTube. And uh, what else can I plug in? Oh, I I uh, was called. I basically uh, edited and animated a uh, motion comic called the one the sound of one hand clapping. You can find it on YouTube under tinyurl.com forward slash sound of one hand, and it's great. And there you go. And you can also find me on the FCL as well. Boom! I can plug that in now. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they find you on the FCL? I mean, I'm just asking. Uh, well, because I just competed <laughs> on a match last week. How's that? Oh, okay, if you want to plug that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for tonight. <laughs> For us, if you want to, if you like what you see here, guys, jump on the Patreon. I'm not, it's up, it's up there. patreoncom slash fanatics. We are trying to do so much, and we could use all the support in the world. So if you guys want to jump on there and help us out, that would be so so wonderful. Uh, but otherwise, stay tuned to Twitter at Cinefanatics MLP. You can follow each of us individually at Chris Adams MLP at Robert Adams MLP, and you can find out what all we're doing and get involved that way. That's a uh, Easiest way to do it. Yep. Anyways, that's going to do it for tonight, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned to your local news broadcast to see how much of a crap show this is. (laughs) And we will see y'all later. All of y'all have a great evening. Good night. Hasta luego.